good evening. Hello. So, tonight I'm gonna finish this... Uh, exercise sheet. Well, that's sheet. a mighty distracting gif. And we're gonna listen to some more Sleepy Cabin. Sleepy Cost. Cause that's a lot of fun, isn't it? There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests, buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little Yo. cabin. And in that hey. cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Hi, welcome to Sleepy Cabin, aka Sleepy Cast. I am your host. Uh, Corey Spaz Kid. Do you know? You don't know your name. Uh, your name is. What is my name? <laughs> Jeff. Yeah. John... There you go. Next, Corey. <laughs> Psychic Pebbles. That's me. Chris. Thanks. Oni. You got it. <laughs> Welcome to the Q and A Spooktacular. The second annual Q and A Spooktacular Extravaganza, starring all of you idiots that sent in fucking dumb questions. All these questions were sent in from the hot meme website Reddit.com. Where, um, where you guys can send me the questions. Fresh, hot, hot fresh. Hot fresh off the press, yeah. So all these are from there, and if you want to ask questions for the next time, <laughs> go there. Me? Just... Fuck it with people. Me? <laughs> all right, let's... I'm not fucking... All the questions are from okay, there. Right, let's... Don't send traffic to Reddit. Send it to Sleepy Cabin. Where are they going to ask questions on Sleepy Cabin? <laughs> on the website. Where? Comments, dummy. That's not what anybody said before. All right. We've answered Enough zero games. questions for Sleepy Cabin. Enough guys. games. Turn off the giggle meters. We gotta get back in there. <laughs> okay, on we gotta get back into the the real the real deal. Yeah. Okay. First question from Hombre Snoop Dogg. What is some weird shit you did as a kid that makes you want to go die when you remember it, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. What I have like half a second to recall something. Jeff, quickly. When you um, were a kid, like when makes you, you want to go, I, it has just, to make me wish I was dead thinking yes, about it. Just something, you go, oh my god, you did. Or just I'm not a degenerate. I don't know what to think. I don't I, say. Honestly, that's one of those loaded questions where it's kind of like there's really nothing you could do when you were a kid that's really that. Big no, because good evening, I, everyone. Stuff, How are you doing? You think back on it, you go, oh my god. I mean, there's stuff I did when I was a kid that I would like smack myself. But there's there's nothing that you th recall that you did where it makes you kind of shudder and go, oh god. I do. What did you do? It's it's honestly the silliest, most like not big deal ever. But every time I think of it, it make I just want to kill myself. What, Chris? I was in school and I had a little iron giant figurine and I was playing with it on my desk and then I remember specifically saying the words. I was imagining in my head a made-up character that he was talking to and I said out loud, I will kill you, Invisibo. And two fucking girls looked at me and they started laughing at me. <laughs> and it was the most embarrassing that moment. That makes you want to kill yourself? That makes me want to kill myself. <laughs> I give that story up to two out How of ten. How old are you? Uh, hmm. I don't know, maybe ten or eighteen. I, I have a, I have a, I have <laughs> it a story. Yesterday. Yeah. What's that, Jeff? I had a pencil sharpener, <laughs> and uh, as a kid, right, I tried sharpening a crayon, and I clogged the pencil sharpener with crayon, and then I blamed my brother and my parents. My dad, I think my dad uh, spanked my brother. <laughs> and the end. Did you I got shoot him afterwards? Dad's a dickhead. What the fuck? <laughs> you... No, my brother, de my brother deserved it anyway. He did, yeah. Wait, <laughs> you want to die because of that? Yes. That's no. that, that big of a detriment. I don't know what this is a stupid question. Fine. Okay. <laughs> Next question. I'll be, I'll Corey, be Corey, what is, you know, you know what I mean? I have a question. I didn't, I didn't give you mine. I, have, I, have I didn't give you mine. I have a question. My, What's that? my friend had a dog who was crazy. He, we used he to just... jump on the trampoline and pretend to be Super Saiyans. Cause we were faggots. <laughs> he sounded like him. <laughs> so, and I swear to God, when you're a kid, you have so much energy. And like, one time the dog got super horny, and so we used to have like, we used to battle each other on the fucking trampoline to a point where we'd throw each other off into the dog den, and whoever landed would be <laughs> fucking by fucked dog. by the dog. You know, but you, know, <laughs> you, your dog, you saying the word dog huh? reminded me of it. Oh, oh, okay, I, I'm sorry. I fucking you know pretend KO can my friend off the fucking trampoline. He did like somersaults and shit and rolled into the backyard, and the dog came up and came all over the back of his head. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I've never, like, I've no. never seen sperm. <laughs> Commit of a dog before. You're a liar. You're it's a liar. true. It's true. <laughs> Not true. I swear to fucking God, we used it as an excuse. It's like we can make it like this beast, so when we go out of bounds, he can attack us. Yeah, you know, dick. We had overactive imaginations. You know what? It wasn't gonna kill You're us. You're like a nine out of ten animating and a one out of ten storytelling. <laughs> I want my shirts. Oh, I stuck Skittles in a, in a fucking pencil sharpener, and I want to kill my brother. <laughs> at, least, at least that makes sense. That makes sense. We said it 
it's a dog flipping the air and coming on so it's a lie. You say, you say the word dog reminds me of a true story. I was at my cousin's house when I was about twelve. I was I was much older than I should be for you to understand the context of the story. So I was twelve or thirteen, maybe thirteen. I'll say twelve. So I saved myself some embarrassment. Okay. But it was his birthday party. Almost an adult. Okay, go ahead. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Basically, we could drive and fuck women and do drugs and go to war. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. But anyways, my cousin had a birthday party. And he was turning eleven. He was one year younger than me. But we had a bunch of soda. Probably more soda than I've ever had. Really? And then I fell asleep on his couch. Well, what kind of soda? Like, like Dr. Pepper. Uh, oh, Coke. The really, really heavy. Soda. Thing. Yeah. I wake up in a puddle of my own piss on the couch. <laughs> now, if you piss the bed, you can change the sheets. If you piss on a couch, what can you do? And I got terrified. I woke up, covered in piss, and I flipped the cushion upside down, <laughs> back the other way. Piss. I went back to bed and pissed again <laughs> on the other side. And I woke up and I was like, "Oh my god!" And I slept on the floor. Were you? I slept on the floor, and then they had a huge, uh, like a Rottweiler or something, and it sat on the couch. And his stepdad was like, "Who pissed on the?" I was like, uh, "I was like, uh, uh, the dog did it." And he was like, "My, I've had the dog for like five years. My dog got pissed on the couch. You little liar!" It was so embarrassing. Every time I think about that, I just shrivel up. <laughs> I pissed nice twice on a couch and then flipped it over and pissed again. Dude, I've pissed at my friend's fucking house. Yes, but did you piss on a couch before? Yeah. <laughs> Why? You like looked at me what like I'm Am I the only normal? I mean, correct. Chris and I are the only normal ones here, sort of. Jeff, you pissed Jeff, the bed normal an adult. Jeff, ask me something a normal person would think. Ask me something a normal person would think. Yeah, a normal person would say think. What? Pretend to be, okay, wait, Corey, pretend to be a normal person. <laughs> say a few things like, like, you what you think a normal person would say. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll have to get started, dude. <laughs> Holy shit. So I'm like, you're the first, the you first thing that came to my head was the weather outside is Pretend? <laughs> That's not a, something anybody would say, Corey. It's something a maniac like you would say. <laughs> No fucking person would walk up to you and say the weather outside is frightful sure. and fucking run either direction. Somebody quoting a fucking 50 year old song to you. You're insane, Corey. Corey. Yeah. No. And, you know, I, I saw a guy at Wall yesterday who said, Frosty, the snowman. I was like, oh, that guy's normal. That's fine. That makes total sense. That's the way people greet each other with fucking Christmas songs in the 70s. Exactly. Imagine you're in an office. You're, you're, you're an accountant. <laughs> your paperwork. It's, and I come up to you, I'm like, Corey, I mean, we, need, we need these accountant Papers. things done by noon. Can you do it? Corey, do I it. would not and say it could. Corey, what's, what's the interest? What's the interest on the loan? I would probably look at the number that says interest. You have to figure it out. Do you have a calculator? Beep, beep, beep. Pull out my phone. All right. Beep, 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 beep. That's 42, 42%. Is it fucking, Thank you. Is one of those Tamagotchi now. things that makes sounds like that? <laughs> Okay, so uh, that's what we. That's why we. That answers the question. That's why we, we would kill each other. Uh, okay, someone else. Sim the geezer asks, did you ever consider quitting animation at one point? Like, like, se like, oh, like settling to be an accountant or some job other than animating. Oh my God. Well, I think I think I think you're that animator. Should we looking. start with? Why don't we start with sure. Chris? Let's Chris go down, go down the way. Yeah, that's a really weird. Uh, yeah, that actually did happen. There was a point where. Me and my parents, well, this was before I even pretty much, you know, uploaded to even, I don't know, like, even Newgrounds or anything. Yeah. This is at a point where I, I, like, I couldn't prove that I could ever make success out of it. And it, to be fair, you, you do got to be lucky to make money from, like... It's true. There's a lot that you think. Like, it's a lot of luck. I, I can definitely see where my mom and dad were coming from when they were like, you should probably just kind of, you know, train for something else just in case. At the time, I was like, no! I just want to be fucking animator! <laughs> and then we had big fights, and it was just like, you know what, that's it. I fucking give up. I never want to do this again. It's too much effort. Mm -hmm. It's too much fighting with my smelly... Beautiful parents that I still love. Yeah, you should, surely you've already quit though, as they're like after you've already started. There's been at least probably one point where you've wanted to quit, right? No. If if I wasn't doing animation, I'd have to be working in, in my dad's shop, and that I, I hated working in the shop. It, it takes a lot of patience to fucking deal with like, oh, flash crashed, I lost all of the work. Oh, that's <clears> fine. <throat> I guess we have to keep doing this. At one point, you were gonna said you were gonna go back to your like. You no, know, I yeah. There's been a couple points where I was like, fuck this, I am just so done with Why? this. I'd rather <clears throat> I'd rather go back and. Because sometimes it's, just like, I, I, it's too much effort. I just go to college or something. I'll tell you this much. I actually went to school for uh, illustration and graphic design. And that, that was actually like similar. If you, if you just replace animation with illustration, I basically went from illustration to animation because I quit illustration because it was so fucking difficult. It got so hard at some point. I just I eventually quit and I actually begged to work at an animation studio. 
<laughs> really? Yeah. And I actually, that, that actually went from working on like an animated TV show called uh, VH1 Illustrated for a few years, and then uh, I lost that job. I don't know. Now I'm working at Newgrounds doing uh, like video game stuff. So I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I went from basically oil painting to digital animation. So. Corey. If you were if you were willing to quit completely just because you're so frustrated or thought about saying well, fuck it. Well, I guess for me, my mom always encouraged me to do what I enjoy. She's like, if you're in that situation, then you're better off than most people, so you should pursue that. So my mom always encouraged it, but my dad was against it all the way. Yeah. He wanted you to be a professional weightlifter. He, he wanted me. That's actually true. For real? That's actually really? true. <laughs> my mom met my dad when he was taking, like, he was going to professional like lifting like weight things where they like lift stuff in like huge lines right. like a concentration camp lines and shit like i'm telling with, you with, it's with, scary. Buff, with buff juice it's uh, <laughs> buff juice six years, yeah. <laughs> cool. it's horrible but you uh, said concentration camps i i, you I was first... using it i was using let it let it be known i was podcast it. where i did not bring up hitler once and cody was the let, initiator hey, let me tell you I'm something cleared. i'm pretty sure the first thing you think of when you think of that is long drawn out lines to the bathroom that's exactly why I said it, because that's what I think Okay, of. continue, sorry. Okay, well, anyways, like, my mom met my dad that way, and he took, like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's thing on how to lift weights. Mm. When I was one, they broke up, and so, but he was always like, um, you get a career, you don't fall back on art, make it a hobby. And then my mom was like, just do what you enjoy, and I'm like, well... I fucking hate working, so she I guess I'll do what I enjoy. You were one? I was like drooling yeah. on myself, and she's like, "You need Corey, to make you know, it's kind of coincidental that they broke up when you were one. It's pretty much they broke up because of you." <laughs> Did she look at you and you reminded her of her her husband? The buff father, the husband, <laughs> little version of the person she yeah. hates You're the most in this world. I was like, I was buff like, bam, bam, really huge biceps. <laughs> bam, I was like, bam. what? You know that's so, like every everybody says a lot of artists say. <laughs> Your face looked like a baby when you did that. It was weird. That's why I did it. Oh. <laughs> I, next I, question. I, a lot of people, I just want to say something really quick. A lot of people say, like, oh, my parents never accepted it. I never had that problem. Me neither. My mom totally accepted yeah, it. My, my dad didn't accept it. But not I didn't not even shit. my dad. My dad was pretty. pretty. Don't get me wrong. My parents, too. like, weren't against me being an artsy or whatever. Like, they always encouraged me to draw. They used to stuff. fucking beat you, dude. They did not. They used to fucking they beat, beat you. beat you with your art pencils. Burn you with solder yards. Like, <laughs> they never. They, they were never against art. They just, like, wanted me to kind of. Have a backup plan in case it fails, which, which is would, totally fair. You said your dad would put cigarettes out on you. He'd, like he'd walk in and be like, "My little ashtray." He puts cigarettes in your face and put. <laughs> well, you're like drawing a baby your ashtray. Crayons, he fucking like burns you. And you're like, yeah, but it wasn't oh. that bad. It was only on Jeff, places you can't see. Yeah. It. Would you like to ask the third question? Oh, absolutely, Zach. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nubcake Factory asks, favorite food available at Wawa? I'm from the South and I'm inbred and my father is my uncle. That's funny. <laughs> Wait, any, which one of you would like to explain to what Wawa is? Wawa is a, uh, it's like a convenience store slash deli that you can go in and there's <laughs> computer monitors and you push the buttons and you pick out what you want. On Sex faces, red as a You didn't write that second part. I did that. <laughs> oh, you did. Oh, you did. Oh, you did. oh. <laughs> He said it from the south, and I wrote it the second part. I just wanted to see if anybody. I believe it. I got you. Got me. <laughs> so I so you're a trick sorry, for sorry, that. sorry, sorry, sorry. Continue. Anyway, with the I was done. Well, yeah, Wawa is it? Wawa is a popular convenience store on the East, East Coast. Coast, mostly popular in the tri-state area, which is like PA, Delaware, and yeah. uh, New Jersey. You basically, Frank, it's really you get nice. like it's beautiful. It's like getting like five dollar subs. It's like Subway plus Seven uh, Eleven. It's all the. It's like oh god. That's exactly. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's smoothies. They do. Club Here's the thing. Here's the thing I like about it. It's open 24 yes. seven. That's what the best part. Which is, I can always go down there at 3:30 in the morning, like a total fucking creep, <laughs> and get get anything I want. It's clean inside. There's no like frowning. Like I know this is how terrible There's this no is. Frowning? There's no frowning. Um, p certain types of people at you, at looking at you on the counter. They're always friendly. Have a friendly demeanor about them. Yeah, but then there's like you forget <clears throat> walking into it. It's like its own journey because you have all these like scary homeless people that are trying to bite at your ankles the only bad thing about Wawa <laughs> show you the only yeah. bad thing I've seen is they're not an actual gas station you can't buy gas at Wawa but no, yeah. what's that you can at some really yeah well, really? well god damn I guess but favorite food from Wawa what, what is your answer mine would be the six inch turkey sandwich with tomatoes lettuce not bad parmesan cheese a little sprinkle parmesan cheese salt pepper sometimes it's parmesan yeah, for me. <laughs> I get the the roasted turkey sandwich as well with like a little bit of mayo and tomato and peppers. Just like the normal stuff. Tomato? But I, I don't get like pretty much try to 
I try to get everything, but not everything because yeah. I know it's a hassle. Are you already for the movie like and Saga stuff? Or? And that's another thing that I've noticed from like Wawa journeying. You go to certain out Wawas, or depending on the people who are making your fucking sandwiches. Fucking my mic isn't even. Yeah. Different properly quality attached. Of some people are fucking surgeons. Some people yeah. are lying like mad. Yeah, no, I'm throwing saying, shit at these people. I, 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 I like open up. Like, now I'm should like, be oh, better. I'm so hungry, and I open it up, and it just like falls all over the floor. You know what I stopped? Sorry. Sorry, like sub, like people who work at Subway, they, you know, you can tell. They have a very strict rule about how yeah. many slices of cheese, oh, how to yeah. put on the sandwich. Wawa is more like, eh, kind of whatever a, you feel like. It depends like. on how nice the guy it's a is. Wild yeah. Card. Yeah. It's a little bit, yeah. I'm not going to lie. One time I got a turkey or a chicken sandwich. A chicken, it was a Caesar salad sandwich. I got it from Wawa. It was probably the most foul thing I've ever had in my yeah. life. Yeah. The the it was only, no such thing as a Caesar salad sandwich. Only bad thing I ever had from Wawa no, was, it was, uh, it, was just, it was a chicken salad sandwich. Oh, okay. I had, I had a uh, tuna salad. No, it was chicken salad. It was just chicken. It was <laughs> like chicken. It was like, it was, it was basically a tuna salad, but it was chicken. Yeah. I never got so repulsed by something in my life. But it's weird because, like, the rest of it's totally fine. Like, the, the turkey sandwich is great. Yeah. So is the little chicken sandwich with the, the bread and chicken with the cheese. It's delicious. My, my favorite, I think, is every Thanksgiving they have a sandwich called the Gobbler. Ooh. Which is, is that... basically a Thanksgiving sandwich, in, a Thanksgiving dinner <laughs> yeah. in a hoogie. Is it? Is it? Is that the turkey Do you know what you gravy? shouldn't get? It's Man, feet are fucking like, weird. I can't figure them out. Cricket cranberry sauce, all in a all in a hoagie oh, sandwich. Don't that, ever, though. don't ever get oh. get the fucking gravy turkey sandwich. Cause guess I what? got the gravy turkey I too. I got the fucking gravy turkey sandwich. I was like sandwich, Thanksgiving, and I'm like, oh, how bad can this be? It, I swear to God, it was just mucus pouring out of the fucking Ooh. thing. I it, couldn't it, eat it because I, it was just like I felt like I was handling a salamander. It was really creepy. I I eat a lot of those. Anytime I eat gravy or something, I eat, eat that with like a fork. And you I had to eat my sandwich with a fork. I had to cut. I was like, God but damn. But here's I the thing. This. I got it again at the Wawa mm -hmm. near the work. Yeah. And then confidence. <laughs> they put the gravy Dude. inside the sandwich. They weren't doing <laughs> it. Gotten... They didn't put it to the fucking gravy machine. They're like, this is a I... ice cream sundae for this person. Sundae piss all over it. I've ordered roast beef sandwiches of lettuce and cheese. I've gotten home and the inside was just lettuce and cheese. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's kind of like a sidetrack just we should explain to. I said the what? word hoagie. Oh, yeah, 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 sorry. I, I, I'm from the Midwest, okay. so I was new to this, yeah. too. Yeah, sub. Sub, sub is the yeah. word. I, I, I'm new to the word hoagie if, also, but... If you go to one of those maps where, like, you look at... You can look up, where, like, local dialect or local <laughs> words. If you look up hoagie, it's, like, the smallest little red dot, like, in the middle of eastern middle Pennsylvania around yeah. Philadelphia. It's, a. Uh, but yeah, anyway. Like you, don't, you don't think what you say, though. It's like a, hoagie. It's like, yeah. that's what they call it. They say, get a hoagie at Wawa. It's like, yeah. oh, okay. Because it, it was like a sandwich thing, but what I, I always thought it was like a variation of like, because it sounded really good. I'm like, is it like a pizza and a sandwich? No, it's, at the it's time, just a sub. It's just a... At the time, those are the, those are the Dude, coolest things Wawa's on the block. Wawa's good pizzas. They do these little cute little pizzas, and they taste really <laughs> nice. <laughs> they, they are pretty good. For like $6, you can get those pan pizzas. You know what my favorite thing of Wawa is? The fucking... Goddamn mango milkshake. Oh, the milkshakes? Yeah, and they have really the good smoothies. Chris they have really good smoothies. smoothies. Chris always gets his little smoothies, his little cookies. They do amazing cookies. They do them. No, they do. I gotta they say, they do. the best they, they, chocolate they, chip cookies. They, they have really good cookies. You know what actually happened? It really sounds like it's paid for in your mouth cookies. <laughs> you know what happened to me a while once? I, I got a chocolate chip cookie, and when I got home, it, it tasted like it, they had accidentally dropped it into a deep fat fire or something. It, it was just oh, because it was so ch like it was, so charred. It was no, it was covered in like. Fucking chili grease or something. This is gross. <laughs> Made me fucking not happy. <laughs> I know. I, I must have spent over. I swear. I don't think I'm exaggerating. I think I spent over ten thousand dollars at Wawa. Uh, <laughs> no. so, over the last several I, years. I yeah. think over this last year, I've probably eaten or spent money on us on like fucking. 50 subs. The thing, the thing is, you could honestly, honestly, go to Wawa every day and be totally, f like, yeah. you could. Fine. And they actually have, like, special dietary sandwiches that you can get, like, sub diet yeah, sandwiches. You can get those, like, $500, like, sub, or, yeah. sorry, that five, five, Wait, hold on. How, out for you. We you know, how, how does this match well, together? Saying, Getting well, a cookie so that's buy. fucking Listen, drenched no, in, free, free, in free fucking well, we also stood up, we had, we had grease, some gross -ass fucking and then you could probably eat from there every day and be fine. That doesn't matter. Oh, fucking, your macaroni and cheese, <laughs> fucking, that yeah. is good. Macaroni and not, shit, macaroni fuck and you. cheese isn't as good when fuck. it's with fucking stuffing. Who the fuck, fuck eats macaroni and stuffing? You Nobody. put macaroni and potatoes. potatoes. They don't. They don't potatoes. ask. They don't put stuffing. They in the do. Macaroni. They have it as an option. Why did you order it? Because one day Eat I was really dummy. drunk. And I was like, but maybe there's one disgusting, foul old man out there who's like, I love mac 
macaroni and stuffing. Yeah, but, but macaroni and potatoes is really good. You're right. Uh, Next question. <laughs> God. Hawaii Boy 25 asks, a film was being made about Sleepy Cabin. Which director would you want to, to make the film, and who would you want to portray each of you? Roman Polanski. Um, why? Because he's a pedophile. Edgar. Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Why? Because he's a pedophile. <laughs> Bill Cosby. He's actually a rapist. Talented pedophile. Actually, you, apparently, I looked at the Pedophiles. Woody Allen. He's not really that much of a... Bill Cosby. You want to be Bill Cosby? or you want I, him want, to... I want the person to play me. Bill Cosby. Doc, Ryan Singer. Doc Brown. I want to be played by Jamie Kennedy. Doc Brown. I'll be, I'll be uh, Ryan Phillippe. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Kennedy can do my stupid whiny voice. Who's, who's that? Who's that one guy who who starred as Freddie Got Fingered's father? Rip, Rip Thorn. It's I'm Thorn. Why do you say Thorn? Thorn? Because he's fucking. It Rip sounds Thorn, like Thorn. Rip Thorn will play will play the likeness of Corey in the Sleepy Cabin movie. <laughs> you want him to be you? You'd be like. You should just be. This is bad. fucking autistic. <laughs> you should be Seth Rogen. I hate wig. fucking Seth Halloween. Rogen? Yeah. Uh, you know, if Seth Rogen played my likeness, I would. Hey guys, I, I love Wall. I hate the right. fucking stuff. <laughs> We could share the same laugh. Yes. <laughs> Although I don't share his appeal of weed, I'll tell him. Oh, no, no. Corey, you're Rip Torn. Uh, Who would direct it though? Who would you guys? I'm make? Rip Thorn. I don't watch him. I'm Fuck Rip that. Thorn. 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 It's not. It's not Thor. I don't care. Thorn. Rip Thorn. Thorn. Rip Thorn. Rip Thorn. Rip Thorn. Who who would direct it, Jeff? Fucking Cordy. Who would direct it? Um, uh, P- uh, Paul Verhoeven. I think would he be a good director, right? Sure. Big, oh, big crazy. Big cra- he also did. Uh, he also did. Uh, no, Total, that's Total not. Recall. No, I love Total Recall. Recall. He did. What else did he do? Uh, Starship Troopers. Yeah, fuck you, Chris. I love those movies, but you you can't have him. He's too good. Um, we who, deserve someone. Who's like, the director? Who did like this is for uh, all his Paul Red movies. Oh, uh, Judd Apatow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he would do it. Judd Apatow. He would do it. Sleepy Cabin movie. Judd Apatow. Who, who'd play me? That fucking retard from The Office, Dwight. <laughs> no, I'd be the guy. Okay. Dude, I'd be, that'd be great. That I'd would be, be great. I'd be, I'd be the fucking Jigsaw, the old guy from Saw. <laughs> 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 fucking, why do we have these old ger- geriatric fox like, sitting in the couch? I'd be terrified if Jim Thorne plays the guy from Saw. Well, I, I want to be Clint Eastwood then. Okay, oh. yes. Just get Clint Eastwood. Because who are you? Because yeah. um, who are you? You can be Jimmy Kennedy. You can be whoever you want. No, I don't want to be Jimmy Kennedy. G- give me someone, but not Jimmy Kennedy. <laughs> you you be, uh, choose. Uh, you could be. Um, you could be Bill Cosby. I want to be Bill Cosby. You could be. Uh, this is not Bill Cosby. <laughs> you could be. Uh, <sighs> Dude, who would suit me? Come on. Who would suit you? Uh, like an old Irish. An old Irish. Fuck off with your old Irish. Who, what, what actor <laughs> looks like me and could do my voice? What about uh, Josh Peck? <laughs> Danny DeVito. Oh, <laughs> Danny DeVito. Really? Dude, Danny DeVito? Yeah. Yes. I would happily take him. Yes. Back. Jeff, that's really mean of you. Dude. But also, you're, you're, not, you're, you're so not Danny DeVito. Hold on, you, hold on. Don't even be offended. I'm Jesus. Rip Torn, Danny DeVito. The old guy from Saw, Clint Please Eastwood. Speaking of the old guy from Saw, you know, yeah. when Aaron visited Ireland, <laughs> yes. he, he saw my dad and he was like, you look like the old guy from Saw. What? To your dad's face? Do you think my dad looks like the old guy from Saw? Literally nothing like it. I, I actually did see a resemblance. <laughs> the, the old guy from Saw. Yeah, the That's guy his who, cool, cool term. guy who stands up like a zombie at the end and walks off the camera. <laughs> Chris, I'm, I'm honestly trying to rack my brain to think who, who would play you. Um, how about uh, John Candy? Jimmy Stewart's corpse. There you go. J- Jimmy Stewart's corpse. Yeah. I want Andy Circus. Andy Circus? Mm-hmm. Who's he? He's the guy who plays. He Gollum. runs the circus, Corey. <laughs> you can be Gollum. You can be the guy in like the fucking like. <laughs> the yeah, Chris, that'd, be, that'd be great if you like motion capture like your freaky CG face. Just a normal CG dude. Yeah, it looks exactly like you. Did you CG? <laughs> <laughs> you're Gollum with fucking Chris. Dude, that'd be the creepiest movie ever. Who's you're like this? Again? You're perched like this. Who's directing it again? You're perched like the fucking oh. Judd Apatow. Judd Apatow is directing a movie with Rip Torn, Clint Eastwood, the only guy from Saw, and a CG Chris He's kickstarting it right now. Go. I would pay to see that. I'm not lying. I'd do that. that would be a fucking Wait, disaster. Wait, who's the Stamper? Stamper? Yeah. No. Oh, he no. You know who Stamper is? He's the uh, you know the guy who's who's the villain in Last Action Hero? The old guy. Do you, you ever see that movie? Yeah, I saw Last Action the Hero. Act, the guy with the axe. He's just like creepy. Well, let's say Larry David plays him. Yeah. Yeah. Oh right, yeah, Larry, Larry David. David plays right. him. Oh yeah, Larry, Larry, Larry David would be perfect. Stamper. He's an old man. Yeah, I know. We're all old guys, anyways. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. 
It's plenty so it's like you. 85. <laughs> You're CGI oh, Chris. So You're fucking PlayStation <laughs> graphics CGI Chris. It didn't even like camera You're track like, me. <laughs> You're creepy. I just second like I'm just, I'm just on layered on top of the screen. You're like, hey guys. <laughs> You're like, You're not even anti alias <laughs> Just, you like fucking sit down and your body's like lifting up when you're sitting I don't even have hair horrible, physics, it's painted on my head. It's just like defying shit in the background. <laughs> Something everywhere. It's like shitty first time blender effects and you're cool. <laughs> Okay, uh... When you turn your head, you're fucking jellyfish Look, hair, like, <laughs> kickstarting the movie, make sure to ki check it out on Kickstarter. Jordan Apatow's Cabin original. Jordan Apatow's directly, he's on side for it. Okay, uh, so... Uh, Count Or asks, Do any of you like anything a lot that no one else seems to dislike? Or dislike anything everyone else seems to like? So do you guys, do, you, do we like something that everyone else hates, or hates something that everyone else likes? Oh yeah, I do. Is it pretty I figured, Corey? That's right. <laughs> I, saw, I saw the look in your eyes, Dude, Corey. Dude, I... You saw the finger in your eye? Let me tell you something. Corey, tell the audience about Freddy Got Fingered. If you want to talk about a movie that gives you a twinkle in your eye, <laughs> that's Freddy Got Fingered. Can I explain why I hate that movie with a fucking real palpable Hold on. like hatred? Hold on. First of all, I already said it. Rip Torn. Yeah. Rip Thorn. Or Thorn, as he's Thorn. known in the Hollywood days. <laughs> he was never known as that ever. <laughs> he's, he's amazing as a dad. Because he sits there and like counter arguments all of his stuff. Like, yeah, he's like... <laughs> You're a fucking goddamn idiot! <laughs> fucking idiot! <laughs> and then, like, he's just like, I just want to make you proud, Dad. He's like, I hate you! I like when he just screams, he's like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> Funny shit. So, I'm telling you, the con there's just one joke in that fucking movie, the context of it is just... He's in, he's making fucking cheese sandwiches at some like shitty place in some shitty area. And this guy walks up and he's just like putting cheese in, he's like making a fucking like cheese mummy. And a guy walks up, he's like, hey retard, <laughs> cheese in my sandwich. <laughs> With a fucking cheese store. <laughs> the reason, can I, can I explain why I hate that movie? Because Chris was like, you got you guys see this movie, it's the funniest movie ever. It is! And I was like, alright, sweet. And by the way, I didn't you say that, you're a liar. Both, both, both you and Corey saw when you were like, what, 13, right? 14. <laughs> Right, I saw it as a fucking as an as an adult in his early twenties for the first time. It's such a good movie for like people who hate themselves. I don't care, right? And it's... I paid two dollars for it. I Aww, paid money for it. Poor baby. I paid it's money for five, it. Five. Okay, right. It's got five what? It's got five legitimately funny parts, and I will agree, it's got lots of tryhard stupid. I sat there with a blank face. The only funny part of that movie was looking was looking at you frantically, looking at me every time something funny happened. No. Every, every time you laughed, you looked at me, and I was. Daddy, would there. you like some sausage? When he swings the baby around. I, I know that part's kind of try hard, but I still thought it was funny. Um, I hate that. That deer part pissed me off. That deer part off. is gay. I will, I will admit that. I, I hate that part. The part where he, like, jerks off penises and drinks cum, that's not funny. It's just, like, the gags. <laughs> See, you you described me that's funny than it actually is. That movie. It's, it's, his, it's the main movie with his dad. He's like, I'm so proud yeah. of you, son. And then he goes off and blows his money on stupid shit. Yeah, and his dad's hilarious. just like... What is wrong with you? A pack I of feel like jewels. I you, got you a pack of jewels. Do you feel I, you like it because you feel like you can relate to Freddy? That's true. He, he is. <laughs> Freddy is the guy who gets. He is Clinton like jail. an insane, like really talented animator who's what's just the, like out the of guy's his name? fucking mind. Uh, John Green. Tom, Tom Green's the main guy. Is that, is that his name in the movie? So yeah, though? that's something I enjoy Forget that it. I know no it, one will ever. Is it not Freddy? No, no. Freddy's the brother Freddy's that he brother. lies about. He said my brother Freddy got fingered by my dad. Oh. Right? Is that what happens? Yeah, it's like, yeah. Oh. And then he gets sent I to saw a like a year ago and I, I blocked all of it out of my mind. I know like two parts. <laughs> Chris, you don't like the Beatles, do you? That's something everyone else likes. Um, I like the I Beatles. I mean, I don't, I don't hate them. You don't I hate just, them, but I just don't like them. Is there anything you that you like or dislike that everyone else likes or dislikes? Yes. What's that? Well, I dislike racists, even though everybody else seems to love racists. Racist? Racists. Racist people? Yeah. Racists? You dislike racists? Yeah. And everyone else likes them? Yeah. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you know, everyone else does go on about racists all day. It, it kind of Everybody's matters. walking around being like those, those Negroes, and I'm like, you're uh, you're out of line, sir. So can you please stop or try <laughs> to buy a sandwich? <laughs> uh, it's like, I don't like you. I think people shouldn't need to breed. Keep the race pure. Oh, You're like, can you chill down? Oh, chill mongrel, out, mongrel races. I'm like, sir. <laughs> that movie. I don't agree with you. There's two movies that I like that everyone else hates. What? Well, I guess one movie. <clears throat> Hear me out. Hot tub time machine. That movie stinks. Oh, I don't. Chip, ha that you have a movie. I, you have I, a movie I'll tell you that why. People stand behind, but they don't understand. And I understand. I don't hate that. I don't. I don't. I don't love the movie. Hot Time. Let me. Let me. Let me defend yeah. myself here. Let me oh, defend yeah, myself. Yeah. Here. We'll talk about that in a minute. I don't love the movie Hot Tub Time Machine. I just don't hate it. Hot Tub Time Machine. I, I'll tell you why I like it. It's not offensively. It's thing. not offensive. In it's all, just. In it's all harmless. fairness. In all fairness, I didn't like Hot Tub Time Machine. It's harmless. It's a very. It's yeah. It's like in the harmless category. It's a harmless, forgettable movie. The director said that John Cusack act like Nicolas Cage. 
dude. And that, no, just, look, that pisses look, me off look. so bad. The movie's horrible. It's not. There's never a joke where they try too hard. It's all just horrible. There's loads of like, dude. There's a lot no, of dude. Jokes. That what try hard? What try hard parts? What the, the fucking bald guy who plays in like children's You don't like hospital? Rob Cole? I think I like. He Rob had Corey. so many try hardy parts. He was try. He was try hardy. When was the last time you saw it though? Watch it again. I think you'll think differently. I watched it when I was like 16 and I hated I've it. I watched it. I don't hate that movie, dude. The second one. <clears throat> uh, the second, the second, the second one. Yeah. Yeah, the, but if you was... want to talk about it, the main guy <clears throat> is fucking the guy. I like said. Rob Corddry. He was the best part of uh, uh, War Bodies. Dude, <clears throat> he's a good actor. I'll give him that. He's... he's funny, but in that movie, he was over the top, try hardy. I like, I, I, I like Rob Corddry. He's like, movie. listen, he's I, I, the... I would not watch the movie Hot to Time Machine if I had other movies to watch. But I'm saying I don't hate that movie. See, it's not bad. It gets way too much <laughs> hatred. This is the thing. Zach is being all reasonable. Dude, Zach... the whole time he was just like, he was. Just like, hey, have you screwed a girl yet? You're gay. And watch then, it. Watch it again. Zach is it's not as bad. He's like a, a baby man child who's just po poking people with sticks the whole time. Should we talk about your highness? Yes. Talk I about like your, your highness. Place. Jeff likes your highness. <clears throat> Jeff likes a gay movie. Oh. Look, here's the thing. Jeff goes <laughs> on and on about your highness. I, there's a lot of movies I hate, but I like your highness. I do too. I think it's funny. I'm you see, and I'm one of those people who watch it. And you look at it, shit. and it looks it looks like a stupid stoner movie, like a medieval stoner movie. The title, but, especially. With, I like with, the plot. With, with, and the plot and Zach, unique. Zach, you know, is fa we're trying to be fair to Zach, but he's not being fair to us. No. Oh, I, I joke. Yo, it's a jest. The question was, <laughs> what what are things, not movies, but I guess all we ever talk about. I mean, like I guess. What, I mean, things in general. I can't really think of like people that. That, that goes to movies, bands, um, stuff games. people do, games. Yeah, that goes to everything. Cows. Oh, oh I, I guess cows. like Sims. I I like simulators. Like I like certain simulator games. A lot of people are like, that's lame. But I, I wouldn't think, spend up to like fifty dollars <clears throat> for a fucking simulator game. I I, I think. But I think, for free, I'll play like Bus Simulator. I, uh, and excited. I don't, I don't like second. Let's Players. There. I know. You I don't like Let's Players. Them. No. Ouch. That really hurts. What if the Let's Player went up to you and was like, Jeff, I want you to start my thing, and he kissed you on the moon? I'm sure not Not all of them are bad, but a lot of them are. 99%. What if he... 100%. What if, what if a Let's Player... 99.999... If you're a Let's Player and you're listening if you're, to this, if you're I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about everybody else. Jeff just pointed <laughs> a, a fucking six caliber <laughs> at the mic. He pointed a shotgun right at the microphone, and it was like, come on, bitches. <laughs> Jeff's, a, Jeff's a straight up gangster and pointed his gun thinking, sideways. I'm just thinking about guys playing games like, talk like this. Ha ha, I'm funny. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Jeff, you know who you are. Shoot give every reason why they're bad. They're not they funny. Try. They rely they rely on other people's content to make their fucking living. Most of them can't just create something from nothing. They they rely on No, if the internet shut the best way to put it is is if YouTube shut down, if the internet <clears> shut down, <throat> these guys would have nothing to do. Yeah, they'd be working at Walmart. Yeah. I mean, at the very least, I mean, it, uh, it, it, it would hurt our livelihood, but at least we could draw, we could go to some studio or something for some TV show. We, we, yeah. have, we have... I will say, there so, are a few Let's Plays I watch. I'm not going to say, oh, I am banned Let's Plays from my view, because I watch speedruns and I watch Let's Plays. Sure, I mean, look... I like Let's Plays if they're funny or interesting, which most of them are not. A lot of the, Here's the problem. A lot of them saw a formula that worked and just did that. So in conclusion... Don't be a lazy cunt. Work, challenge yourself and do something besides playing games on YouTube. Thank you. JJ Awesome 77 writes, "What is a movie is funny, Jeff? you guys think yeah. deserves a reboot?" I like the movie The Wraith. It's like uh, the Fast and the Furious with sci-fi, and I think it should be remade. Thank you. There aren't a lot of movies that I think actually work well and rebooted, like some unnecessary. It's like you you never need to reboot. Hello. Like, Total Recall. Yeah. But there's some there's some hey. series that I was like, oh, they they've been dead for a long time, so why not reboot them? Like um, Planet of the Apes. They tried to reboot that series in 2001 with Mark Wahlberg and it fucking blew. Yeah. And they actually did a better job with the reboot. And actually, the reboot, I think, is on par with the originals, if not better, I'd say. At least on par, at least. For which I don't no, fucking understand games. feet. Oh, uh, I love the first play, like the 69, 68 version, whichever year came out. I love that movie, but the reboot, I think, is very well done. Outside of the the, the guy, the corporate guy who's unnecessarily evil and greedy. Yeah, the second one, movie. I think, was better than the first yeah, one. Yeah, no, it was, yeah. They, they, they've learned how to improve. Your answer was uh... oh the the rape. It's a it's a Feet movie where hands, a, a kid different. gets killed and he comes back. It's not even clear not he comes back. Really? Like a ghost I mean, they're so different that it's sure not really is, comparable. He drives, he, he drives this black Dodge. He was murdered by like a a gang of dudes who race their who like race cars. That sounds like pumpkin. They bully head. people. They basically find a dude with a nice car and they're like, "Listen, I'm gonna race you for your fucking for your pink slip for your car." <laughs> and then they beat him and they fucking take his car and drive away and leave the dude and his girlfriend out on like some country road without a car. And they do this to everybody in town, but then they, they kill this kid, and he comes back as a, 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 a ghost alien in a black car. What the fuck? He, he races. Is on that him. He premise? Basically, well, he kills him. He, <laughs> he 
I, I'm not explaining this very well. He basically can, races them. This is what he does. He races them, and then he gets ahead of them, and he turns around and comes back and hit, crashes onto them, into them head <laughs> on, and kills them. And then his car flies into a million parts, and it comes back together, and then he drives off. That's cool. And then he does it to the next guy. That's cool. It is a cool movie. Did you guys ever see They Live? Yeah. I think that movie would be interesting if it was rebooted, just because it's such a bizarre movie. It's so fucking strange. Yeah, no, that would work. That would work. Like, even just just movies that nobody's ever heard of, they're kind of... I mean, people have heard of that movie, It's it just, but it's one of those more bizarre... You can't really... What You can't say a movie is like They Live. What, what can you say is yeah. like that movie? Exactly. It's just so bizarre and so out there. If they took that to a new audience... A Boy and His Dog is another movie like that where it's like it has nothing else like it. So if they if they did stuff with the material and they did something interesting with it, I, I could see myself watching it. But when when I see people reboot series that are thirty years old, like rebooting Ghostbusters is fucking stupid. <clears throat> I know for a fact they're going to reboot um, Back to the Future soon. They're rebooting fucking Terminator, which is a horrible idea. Yeah. They're rebooting thirty year olds, twenty year old series. It's like it's, film's only been around for seventy years. But you guys can't think of it. The the what? All right. Anyway, so Corey's Corey? not gonna say anything. What if what? they made Freddy Got Fingered too? The Freddy. <laughs> they're making Joe Dirt too. So fucking there you go. Maybe, maybe you all get lucky. Yeah. Is it Double Double Two? Joe Dirt too? What else? We get? Is what it else weird is... when they reboot things that are less than like ten years old? Are we like, talking like a movie fails and then they we... reboot it yeah, yeah. in are... less than a decade? Are we talking like reboot? Yeah. Or like yeah, reboot. Reboot is not a sequel. It's a reboot. <clears throat> okay, it so it's like stretch. Sorry. How about like pointless reboots? Like to me, I'm still baffled by. Uh, the Spider-Man reboot. They did it like three or four years after, yeah, right? Yeah, it's like... it makes money. It, but it's the same fucking story. The only reason they did it was Nothing to keep... Nothing changed. No, it makes money. The only reason... Stupid. Yeah, yeah. The only reason they did it was so that um, if, if they didn't make those movies, they would have lost the rights to Spider-Man. Yeah. That's, oh, the, really? that's really? the only reason they did it. Same thing, there's same thing with the retarded. Fantastic Four. That's a Here's weird movie. Fantastic, the I first the Fantastic, Fantastic Four. Four was awful. I don't, I don't understand the appeal, but this new movie has been really weird. Like, they, you've seen a few behind-the-scenes shots of it, and it's... It's like the studio is afraid to show it off. They're like ashamed of it or something. The newest one? Yeah. The newest one. Not the Silver Surfer. <clears throat> I never saw the Silver no, Surfer. No, no. The one that's coming it out. Actually it actually makes those yet. look good. Are you fucking what? serious? It's the first weird. one was awful. Yeah. Like dreadful. The, the new one, you should look up pictures of it. They have a picture of Dr. Doom. He looks like a homeless man. <laughs> on green. It's all like green screen. I don't even know what to, I don't even know what the hell's happening. Are they rebooting Batman again? Um, with, with, uh, Batman with, has with like Ben Affleck is Batman. Right? Yeah, Batman I'm sure, I'm like sure a, there will be a Ben Affleck a, a Batman hundred movie. fucking reboots every <clears> other year. <throat> and then like they bring up like that's another thing like superhero movies that are just like what? Like the Green Lantern? Cuz oh, Hulk is another movie they they made they made Hulk then the Hulk and then yeah. they made like it was the what it was the two thousand whatever yeah. version. Then it was the Edward Norton <clears> version. <throat> then they brought on the other dude to play Bruce Bruce Banner. What's his name? Uh, oh yeah, I forget his name. The the handsome dude from the Avengers who played, <laughs> who played Bruce Banner. Yeah. I, I want to clarify because like you're just a hater. Corey. People people do like the Green Lantern. Yeah. But the movies are awful. Like they're not good. They're not good movies. With and they Ryan get Reynolds? fucking Ryan Reynolds to play. He, I thought he played it all right. But it's like what? Why him of all people? Why to play the Green who, Lantern? Who else He's would be hot. him? He's beautiful. Who, what, what? What? Tom Green? Yes. They needed. <laughs> they needed like a witty. I don't think he was the problem. I thought he was okay. Like, Listen. He was okay as the Green Lantern. Jeff, it's just the Jeff, story itself kind of uh, sucked. Jeff, the villain kind of sucked. Excited. Tom Green. I am excited. As Green Lantern. You know what? I'd like to see rebooted. What's that? Hello. None of you care, but I'd love to see Harry Potter rebooted. Harry and Potter. And done differently. How? Like. I'd love to see it rebooted as like kind of like a HBO series. They're, they're doing that now because they're doing the, they're you, not doing you that you did something where they're like doing the Evil Dead as a TV series oh yeah they're doing the Evil Dead now oh, yeah. as a TV series with, with, uh, with, uh, with what's Bruce Campbell uh, Bruce Campbell yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah well, he's like fucking that. 50 billion years and they're gonna old make they, they, they could do some, they're probably just gonna make some gonna old jokes they're gonna fun at it yeah. they're gonna be like oh you're an old man you know what happened once they made a movie called My Name is Bruce where they made fun of Bruce Campbell and he starred in it it was the worst film I've ever seen did you see the movie he starred in where he was fighting mummies or he was fighting not not mummies. Was it t was it King Tut? He was in an old folks home with a black guy that said. Oh, a, a um, black guy said he was like JFK or something. Yeah, I know that movie. What um, the hell was that called? There was a there was, <laughs> a, there was a, a black guy in an old JFK. folks home that said he was like, I think it was John F. Kennedy. And then there was another guy who said or Bruce Campbell. Was it Bruce Campbell that said he was Elvis or was that somebody yeah, else? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's Bubba Hotep. Yeah, Bubba Hotep. That was it. Bubba that, Hotep. It didn't have that had a nice. I like the score too. What the fuck? But yeah, they're rebooting Evil Dead. They already watch, rebooted the Evil Dead with that movies. one chick. You don't watch. You're right. Yeah. You caught. You tried to catch me in my. In my I did. No, I was lines. ready to disagree with you. I'm like, oh wait, you're right. <laughs> <laughs>
So, yeah, those are our answers for movies we'd like to see rebooted. Ryan Shades M asks, what is your, what is your favorite, least favorite word? Slash, you know, either or. My least favorite word is wonderful. I don't like people, I don't like when people Could say Could you explain why you, why you hate the word wonderful? I just don't. What if it's funny and they have a twang to it, like wonderful? Like a German guy? Maybe yeah. that makes it less. This guy's scary, actually. It is that works wonderful. Is, that, that works all right, but. Today is wonderful. If you're, See, if you're cool. just a man's man and you're like, oh. that's wonderful. What if he's I really handsome? I just want to spit in your face. What if he's really handsome? <laughs> wonderful. What if he's really handsome? Yeah, what if John, Can- John, uh, John Candy said Yeah, what if John Candy? John Candy, what if John Candy said it? John Candy? Yeah, what if John Candy said wonderful? I hate you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hate you guys so much. Okay, I guess for me, yeah, I don't like the word moist. <laughs> what is that? Because it's just really awkward to say. It's like it's so moist outside. It's moist. Do you have moist smegma, Corey? <laughs> smegma, moist smegma. Moist. I actually had to Will look that moist? up. When when fucking Nile said smegma, I'm like it's just dick cheese. So you thought it was I've never, i have never. You have you ever jerked off and then just it? went to bed because you were I don't so think I have. Okay, Jeff, if you lay on your back. And then you're like, you, you like cum your name on your chest. <laughs> oh, that's really good. Everyone does that every night. I thought I was the only one, Corey. I thought I was the only one. I'm so done. I'm so gave, done with this. You just gave me the old man stink eye. <laughs> old man stink eye. Old man stink eye. Oh, man. No, like, <laughs> he goes, you're leaning back with your shirt up. You're like, you're going to jerk off on you your chest. Cover your, you cover your chest. <laughs> Chloe, how would you? Does a cup smell? You have to take your finger and put it in the cup and smell your name. Do you, out. Do you smear it? You take yeah, yeah, exactly. the head of your dick and smear it on your yeah, chest you, like a glue stick, or do you actually yeah. try to arc it? I don't it have any dogs. Or do you? Or is there one big pile of cum that you kind of write my, you, with your finger, you like can, in the snow? Like once you come, you can like use. You can trace. You can <clears> use the penis of your head because I have a huge dick, and then you can, you can use your huge penis your... to write your name. <laughs> What, Anyways, what? the point is, have you ever just came all over yourself and the next morning you're like, oh, look at that. I didn't even clean up. No. You came over something and peel it up the next morning and be like, it's That's like... That's smegma, Jeff. When you were like eight years old, you're jerking just, off. You're disgusting. <laughs> Corey, you're the smegma. What you're was the question? How the fuck did we get to this? <laughs> what is your word. favorite? Moist. What is your favorite or least favorite <laughs> word? Favorite word? Oh, gosh. You, you, wrote, you, you lost Why? your chance. My dance. favorite word is titty. Oh. Titty? Titty. What about plural? Titties. Titties. Or wiener. Like Wiener's wiener? a great word. <laughs> wiener. <laughs> Titties or wiener. Zach. What is your Wonderful. favorite or least favorite word? <laughs> <laughs> I'm to sleep. Yeah. My least favorite word is Corey. <laughs> Corey. Corey drinking coffee. I can coming wholeheartedly out of agree with you there. Whole f- Whole fartedly. <laughs> fuck you, Corey. And fuck you whole fartedly. Yeah, I hate the whole fartedly. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> It's the worst word ever. <laughs> Corey, you should run for president in your campaign. <laughs> whole, I wholeheartedly disagree Dude, with my candidate. My, uh, I saw you uh, type wholeheartedly on Twitter. I could have reached through the fucking screen and snagged you. Wait, did he use that word before? Yeah, he used it this morning. <laughs> what, what was the context? Yeah, what, did you, what was the context? He said, I agree I'm like, I agree, fuck sweet potatoes. I agree wholeheartedly. Oh, yeah, because I was rounding off something, potatoes. Wholeheartedly? Yeah, that was in something. Like, it was in Charlie Manson's fucking diary, that. dude. <laughs> We scribbled over and over. It was a John Hinckley's diary before he shot JFK. Wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly. Wait, did I say JFK meant Ronald Reagan? See, Fuck! See. Now I sound stupid. I like the word nuclear, but not nuclear. Nuclear. Nuclear? I don't know. I don't understand why people say nuclear. What about anyway. nuclear? We talked about this before. It, I, it, that word's been ruined because I've, I've seen it spelled the wrong way so much. So much. It's like epitome. Whenever I see epitome, I think epitome. Because yeah. I've heard it mispronounced. I read it that now by default. I'm thankful I like that I, I never, what, molecule? The word molecule. What about it? Just saying it, molecule. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> yeah. Molecule. Q, molecule. Like, yeah, the cue is nice. Molecule. The cue. Molecule. When we had, were in science, we had a video where it's like, this is Molly Cool. Molly Cool. <laughs> this chat is perfect yeah. for this What's podcast. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, the word is um, dank. No, 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 not dank. Stank. Stank? Stank. Yeah. What's your least favorite word? Um, hmm. Actually, weevil's a pretty funny word. Weevil's a fucking great word. Whenever Chris Lee called you the weevil's funny, it's like, you <laughs> fucking disgusting little weevil. It's so insulting. And oh, no, no, my favorite word is frothing. 
Frothing. You frothing weevil. <laughs> <laughs> you Wait. frothing chimp. Frothing? That's just like fucking frothing. mouthing. Like mouth. I saw a frothing yeah. chimp who was what? peeing on me at the zoo. What was the, what was the word we were talking about last night? It was like purify or something? Oh, cleanse. You can't cleanse? really say... Cleansing, Oh, no, it was purify. It's like, yeah. Uh, we were talking, like, you, you can't really use the word cleanse outside of air and water. You can't really use that word outside. It's like, oh, I have, you know, this water is purified or clean. You know, the air is purified. You can't really purify and anything else. I distastefully asked if What? Yes, Hitler you can. You can purify like chemicals. What the fuck are they on about? Like I'm pretty sure he did. He must have used the word purify. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna purify the juice today. <laughs> right after 7 o'clock. Okay, Chris, if you want to add a, a word you love. A word I love? Yes. Uh, my favorite word is... This doesn't clit. work. L no, no clit. clit. Clitoris. Clit. No, clit. Clint Eastwood. It ends <laughs> abruptly. Clit Eastwood is Do you word. like the word clip? No, like okay. paper clip. Clit, because cl the t makes it sound really violent. Clit! What about, what about you fucking clit? What about cunt? You cunt? Cunt is more. I, I didn't want to say a word that everyone already kind of always uses. Cunt? Oh, cunt? Cunt, cunt is definitely making a comeback. A cunt a cunt back. Cunt's back. Oh! <laughs> uh, Bob Diggy writes What is one piece of advice that you would give us? That's a good question. What? What's one piece of advice that you'd give? Good life. If you had one little golden sliver of knowledge that you would like to pass give on to anybody. people in general. Oh, well, I guess my only real advice is if you're struggling with something, that's what you need to fucking study more. Mm. Like, if, you, if it's something you're actually passionate about, like, let's say you want to do art, but you're like, I want to do art, but I can't draw hands. It's like, well, start fucking drawing hands. Yeah, draw them over, over and, and over and over. And over. It's yeah. true. But, uh, like... There's never a point where any artist just stops. And people you're always, always learning something. They always, like... <sighs> Well, especially for me, when, when I first started, like, drawing girls, it honestly took probably about 10,000 tries. Like, it's, it takes honestly, a, girl anatomy before it is, looked okay. It's, it's like, when you, fr when you first get into girl anatomy, you're like, oh, guys, they're just boxes. Then you look yeah, at girls, that. you're just like, just what drew the fuck? I just so, like, curvaceous and... Oh, yeah, yeah I know. I drawing it, like, 10 times That's in a row. not advice for me. I know like, that. Oh, like, why am I even the problem is that even though you know this, yeah. it doesn't make it any less frustrating to do it. And sometimes I just don't have the energy like to continue happen. on. Mm -hmm. So. Even if you suck, keep doing it. And by the way, people always say this too about cartoons. They say, oh, I, I can't put on cartoons. I keep perfecting it. Just put something out. You make a 10 second cartoon. Don't start off with a 10 minute cartoon. That's your fucking magnum opus. You're not going to do that. Put out a five second cartoon, then a 10 second cartoon, then mm. 20 seconds, then fit, you know, a minute, and so on and so yeah, on. Yeah, you'll eventually get faster and learn It puts shit out because know? if you put shit out and get critiqued, <clears throat> Then you'll figure out what's wrong with your stuff, and you'll get better from there. I've got two pieces of advice I would like to give out. Okay. The first piece of advice is that you can't start being good. You have to. You literally have to rip off shit to begin with. Like, you, like you have to. To learn good colors, you pretty much look at a picture with nice colors, and you fucking eyedropper that, oh, and you yeah. look at the colors. <laughs> no, I mean, you draw inspiration. You don't directly like plagiarize. No, yeah, art. yeah, like. No, but don't like, plagiarize. No, no, don't like. And that, that was the second piece of like of uh, advice is like, while you're doing that, don't release anything while you're doing that. Learn from it while you're doing that, and then once you found your style, then release your shit. Yeah. Otherwise, people will call you out and make you. You look will like get called out. You will get caught. You'll look like an but, idiot. Yeah, f like for a while, just kind of like look at people's ideas and steal them, but keep them on your hard drive. Don't release them. Yeah, steal and all their stuff and then like trace it and write. <laughs> no, don't cross trace out their it. name and write I'm your saying, name with but the like, well, the, How I learned colors was I fucking looked at art that I liked and I stole their colors and now I I know how to do it myself because. Yeah. I, like, well, I mean that's that's just like color theories and like how you like like you know like if you look at Aaron's stuff. Back then, there was like a game called Maple Story. It yeah. used a lot of that style colors, and and when you look at it, then again though, there there is people who will just flat out rip off a color palette. Oh Don't yeah, do yeah, that. no, no, yeah. But there's like you can see there's like drawing inspiration and getting like color theories yeah. and stuff. And then there's just like directly stealing a screenshot from something. It does when, when you when you when you use somebody else's colors, you see them back to back. You see like the hair next to the skin. Mm -hmm. Something you, you look you look at it. You, you, something clicks in your brain. You go yeah. oh. That looks good with that color. Okay, yeah. you start to yeah, work. All I'm there saying you is, out. find you find yourself only when you find yourself. Then release your shit. Don't so release shit that's clearly but, ripped off. The one it, color you're allowed to rip off is uh, skin skin tones. Yeah, skin yeah. tones. <laughs> and that's another thing that people think that like ownership is always. It's like, come on, man. Right. There's so much different color tones. Like I've seen. Like you look at artists, you're like, wow, that's a really cool color. Then you you like you're curious. Like what you yeah. said, you take a picture, you eye drop it, and you're like. 
This is like fucking gray red. What the mm. hell? Yeah, exactly. But it looks good somehow. Yeah. So yeah. it's like sometimes you, exactly. shouldn't, you shouldn't be afraid to experiment either. Like I know a lot of people ha- use like default colors and shit. And if you see something, you're like, you know what? I want to make the fucking sunset pink. It's like fucking do it, and then yeah. make the color contrast. The Simpsons like, are fucking yellow, and the trees are actual purple. Doesn't matter. Do it. Yeah, do it the fuck you want. It looks good. But also, I'm not just talking about art either, though. I'm also talking like anything. Like how I learned music was, I got mid eye files from fucking the internet, and I put them into my music software. And I looked at the, how the notes complement each other, and that's how I learned music. Yeah. So if you just look at other people's work, you'll learn from it, and then just draw and draw and draw. And draw anything you fucking see, and you'll get good at it. I buy a lot of art books. Yeah, art books? inspiration. Do you? Yeah, Do I you got actually? a shit ton of art books. I, I I get art books, and it's like I kind of get them in a splurge. Like, oh man, I'm vacationing. Like, yeah. like when I was over at like Aaron's and stuff. If I'm like there, and then we go out, I spend like a ton of money on some fucking art books, and they just sit in my room, collect dust, and hide spider webs. Like, <laughs> they, I don't use them. They're just there for decoration. I, I feel like I could probably get more out if I used them, but. It's definitely something I'd like to look more into. But then again, there's like the internet, so it's just full of images you can just look at and be like, wow, that's fucking cool. The, yeah. The images I download the most are backgrounds, I think. Backgrounds, yeah. 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 And that's another... Anything character related. That's another thing, too. Like, I learned this because <clears> I <throat> used to rely on getting other people to do, like, backgrounds and stuff for me. And I've realized after, like, doing backgrounds that it's like backgrounds are a crucial part of your cartoon. Because it's like, you can have a character in a white background, but it's way more interesting to have like a nice backdrop. And if you know like color theories and stuff, it could bring a cartoon more to life than it already did. Even if you have flat cartoons, flat colors, but a nice contrast background, it's... I'll say one thing about color. Mm -hmm. If you're having trouble with color, just color it the closest you can. Take a screenshot, bring it, this is what I do, bring it into Photoshop, you know, slide it around, tint the whole thing a certain color. Sometimes it helps if you if you have a detailed drawing. Sometimes just going into Photoshop and exporting it as like an eight color GIF, oh. reducing the colors down, sort of like makes the whole thing jive a little bit better together. Like it, it sort of not the best I don't know the best word for it is, but it it un, you know it uncomplicates it. So it's like bitmap tracing in Flash, where you just like you knock out you leave like the main yeah you just colors. yeah yeah it replaces a bunch of sub, more similar colors with one color and it sort of. Oh feels like it makes the design a little stronger That's but it's just, really it's just one idea, idea to because then you could like learn like oh, oh wow so like gray blue works really well with like this orangish color cool. yeah like, yeah i, I just future. i would just throw in like i throw color overlays on top of things just just messing around experimenting yeah just experiment that's basically it's easier than going into to. flash and re- like single-handedly just choose changing every color one at a time yeah you, you don't have to have like the the fucking re- bland ass red and yellow crayons you get that, yeah. like you don't you need <laughs> like macaroni this. yellow and, and like orange carrot you can get like fucking orange yellow and like uh orange green and yellow green but, and uh, learning complementary colors also is really nice too because yeah. you start to realize that a lot of colors contrast good together during sunsets and like dark nights and shit this is a, this is a huge color conversation dude, I love dude there's, there's life advice life advice just um, little things challenge you yourself don't yes. be lazy don't make excuses do your laundry on sunday you don't have the time to do things you have the time advice just life advice yeah i one of the things I've learned from living people in college and just seeing stuff is do your laundry once a week. Don't let it fucking pile up. It's, just, <laughs> it's such a small thing. Even don't don't wait for all your laundry to be to be ready to wash and then wash it. It's a horrible idea. That's what I do. You shouldn't. It's such a bad idea. It's so much easier. Just do your laundry once a week. <laughs> no matter how much you have, just do it and it's done. If you're renting an apartment, it's a good always idea. keep it clean because you never know when some dickhead is going to show up and want to inspect your apartment well, or. And That's you're true. like, oh, sorry. Sorry, my, my kitchen is a fucking disaster. In general, do stuff as you go. Don't wait for it to pile up. So if you, if you clean your room as you oh, go every true. day. And it's, so, it's, sorry, I didn't interrupt you, but it's like... It, I mean, I don't really know how to do my it? taxes. I was going to no. say taxes, oh, taxes. Taxes are like writing checks and stuff. Dude, that's, that's a that necessity shit. of living. If you live and you're a human being and you pay more than What's 12 that? grand or Gigi? whatever the fucking prerequisite it, for paying taxes is, you better do it. It blows my mind. You know, I don't have a fucking class in school I know. I was, I was talking to my fucking parents about that. Uh, and I'm like, can, can you explain to me why we're learning how to... We're learning, may I mean, no offense, but we're learning about shit like fucking social studies. And you have to know this stuff. And then you 
get to fucking making college changes you haphazardly. Your free college classes, it's I'll like, have a look you do in a minute yada yada shit, during movie nights. Like Melvin, and it's like, hey, where's the fucking taxes <laughs> class? How do you do this <laughs> shit? Yeah. I don't want to go to If they taught you how to do taxes, how to fucking write checks, how to, how to live. Car insurance, life insurance, insurance insurance, all yeah. this nonsense. I did do fucking Irish and religion. I could have learned how to do taxes. And Yo, what, where's... It's, it's like, it's like, excuse me, um, you're gonna yeah, need to no know this stuff or you're gonna go to Irish. jail. <laughs> fucking stupid is dead language, no one cares. I'm speaking English and I'm fucking so happy. <laughs> if I was speaking the Irish, my life would be ruined. You're going, hoi de doi de doi de doi like, you gotta know this stuff. <laughs> if I was speaking Irish, my life would be legitimately horrible. You're required to learn fucking hoity toity Yes. Hoity <laughs> toity And I can't even remember a word of it, because I hated it so much. Tell me, tell me some, tell me some eyes, eyes really. On will katagum dolga de alaris Mashe to hole it means can I go to the bathroom, please? <laughs> you know how to take a piss in Irish? Yes. <laughs> Jeff, did, yeah. did you guys uh, take you, like, any spend all night classes? one day fucking learning I that took one German. No, I only know because I used to ask it every day in Irish class. I, I took German too for the same reason. My, I'm not very good at learning another language. Do you recall language. any of it? No. I, 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 I remember like two words. Ikhava Schreiben is I have a pencil. Wait, I, I know how to count to ten. I spy dry fair film six even ach neun zehn. Yeah. That is a terrible accent. I speak Spanish every year and don't know a fucking word of it. Look, wait, uh, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. That's what I was gonna That's say. All I fucking Dude, know. Let me tell you One something. through five. Do you know what's funny? Go growing up in high school, it's like all our fucking like classes were based entirely off of what you do. Yeah. So it's like, don't go to French class. You just get fucking homework all day. <laughs> go to Spanish. You get to make food. It's like don't go, go don't go to German. Yeah. They fucking give you homework all day. So it's Dude, like, I, I, I voluntarily took German because I was better than it was. Burritos. I voluntarily took uh, German because it was better than Spanish. I think German's cool oh, language shit. is much sharper. I took thunderstorm 12 outside. Years, basically, yeah, twelve years. A fucking Spanish and know how to count to five. That's all I retain. That's the same. If I go to Mexico and the hotel capture me, they're like, they're speaking to me, they'll be like, oh no, don't stress the fucking heavy. I wonder how to fucking save my own life. You're like, oh no. It's like, that's at, least same, I, at least if I get ca captured by Germans, I can like say, how are you? Can I show up with a pencil? You know, this guy's like, he's like, convince me not to kill you. And you're like, uh, yeah, one, two, three, storms. one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. He's like, he's like, he's like What's he saying? He's like, I don't know, he's counting. He's counting, he's casting, he's coming, I'll turn away. He's going to use spell. Yo, what if the Uno dos tres go dos goes ace? And then you say, maybe they'd laugh and they think you're funny and just let you go. Be like, ah! <laughs> Give me a big cigar and put me on the back. <laughs> he's a comedian. They like Give fucking show you in the <laughs> desert. But they, they're like, we can't, you can't tell anybody about it. So they like smash your legs so you can't fucking run away again. I just keep saying it still. I have a question. Duh. What's a life skill you're all proud of? A life skill? Yeah. What, Jeff, what are life skills you're proud of? Listen, Wait, I can shoot I, a gun. Life skills? You I can't. Can, I can fish. You I can shoot. shoot a bow and arrow. I can do all this except the bow and arrow. Sands the bow and arrow. Oh, fuck you. Oh, I can life shoot a gun. I can clip a gun. I can point and click it. Chris. Do I'm you? just saying, no, I, I specifically, I know how to... I know how to, you know, load. It's it's not it's not like a big fucking deal. It's just like my dad taught me all these. It's a cool weird, thing to have to do. He taught he bought me a compound bow when I was a kid. I don't know. It was like a little. He tried. To, he was like teaching me to be Rambo when I was a kid. <laughs> Jeff, really weird. What? I can pull nails out of boards. With your teeth? You mean with, with the back hammer. end of a hammer? That's what it's built in for. If there's an apocalypse and you guys are like fucking hammering up, I'd be uh -huh. like. When I was when I was like twelve, <laughs> I built my own. I you built need my own to tree let the house. zombies into the house. <laughs> I'm your man. You no. need you need to undo Actually, everybody's hard work. That's what you uh, skill. Uh, like a hundred percent true. When I, my dad was kind of like a workaholic, and if I continue to do that stuff now, I would basically be a handyman. Like I knew plumbing, yeah, I, I knew, knew landscaping, plumbing. I knew when I was a kid, I could do measurements in my head because he would freak out at me if I fucked up a measurement when like we were putting carpet down and stuff. When I was like 14, like I was putting carpet down in a house. I was going into people's houses and fixing their plumbing. He's like, oh, my kids, he's a regular tool man. And I'd be down there fucking like what? fixing. Is that what everybody said? He's a regular tool man? Yeah. Corey the tool man Taylor. <laughs> Corey the tool man Taylor. But now I, I know nothing. So if you were to tell me to fix your pipes, I would fucking... Smash with a hammer until it leaks everywhere, it sprays, yeah. and you're like, oh, it's good to go. You know those commercials with people who are like, 
who are fucking like dense, dense as fuck, like infomercial people. Like what? You can't hold a sandwich yeah, if you're yeah. like dropping like, a sandwich. They like, they like sit down with a cup of coffee and they fucking like pour all Spilled over themselves. themselves. And they're already sitting down. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't be that fucking stupid, but I would be like to a point where if you told me to do something like the commercial would be like fix having the trouble carpeting. fixing your pipes and you smashing a pipe with a hammer until it sprays in your face. That stuff always. That, that's another thing that always baffled me. Fucking infomercials. Like that nonsense? Like it's always a black and white. And at the what beginning. kind of what kind of like dense idiot is sitting there like, yo, I have a really hard time sitting down straight. It's like, are you having trouble sitting? And the guy sits down and he fucking like his fucking head is his neck. Yeah, his there's neck a, snaps over and he starts bleeding out of the eyes. There's a, good, there's a good video out there where somebody compiled all that stuff. I've seen it and like a ten minute video. Some of them are like just like the kids are sitting there. It's like, do your kids make mess? And his kids like, like he's like sitting there drawing on a crayon and there's like soda over here and he's like. Like, they're, they're like, like smashes it, it and actually it. knocks it over. It's like they're trying to sell, car they're trying to sell like uh, things to pour your drink. So like some adult is trying to pour milk out of out of a cart and it's pouring all over the floor. Like, <laughs> yeah, they're like they can't it. get it into the glass. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like I, I it just blows my mind that it's like you don't. I mean, people aren't stupid. If they actually need something, you can kind of show it. Like when people see that, people they're not. People are stupid. Yeah, but people when people see that, they're like, I can pour a glass of milk. Fuck you. Yeah, but when it's only nineteen ninety nine, yeah, shipping included. <laughs> it's like, why not? Yeah, but what kind of guy's like? Uh, I guess I wasn't thinking about the disabled. The, the worst. <laughs> have you got, have you seen Wikipedia's uh, definition of Down syndrome? It's not funny, but the picture there is like a guy with Down syndrome with a with a big smile on his face. He's a big hammer and he's like smashing a piece of wood. It's such a strange picture to use. Why would they use Should that? I, I don't know. Ask why you were there? Why don't they? Why didn't they? Listen, have I was school? trying to figure out what was wrong with me, but the point why is. Why would they do that? Why I, don't they have a? Why don't they have like a school photo of him like sitting there like it's, Yeah, it's, it's not like a guy, it's like a guy, it's the worst situation that guy could be in. You know what I mean? Because like, uh, their the, the cognitive abilities aren't, I'm gonna tread lightly here, you know what I mean? But uh, it's just a very- <laughs> tread lightly. Why, why, it's, it'd be like if they had him like using a shotgun or like using a riding mower or something, it's just bizarre. Mm, yeah. It's not that they can't do labor like that, it's just such a strange thing. No, it's thing. like the idea of seeing You expect to see hammer. like a, him hammering something in. He'd be hitting people in the eye making a bleed and stuff. Yeah. What was the question we were talking about again? It's like... Why are Down syndrome's Why should they Man, be massacred? Man, yeah, people should be able to travel the world. Down. I think that's... Why should they be massacred? Yeah, I, I, something that question, isn't... Well, in Europe, that, I think it's... Um, it's more the case that people actually go on holidays and travel this, around, but in America, I think... What do you think of, a lot of people here's, here's, here's just stay in America. What do you think of parents who... They know their kid's gonna be have Down syndrome, and they decide to have the kid... Outside of their own... I think that's... How, how, how... Country. Such a fine line. How, how... Which is... Uh, but my yeah. they, 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 let's say they could him. Yeah, I know. Let, how, I know. I'm though? just saying how it should be uh, that people yeah, can do that. Because like, experiencing mean, different cultures and regions like is let's say like, let's say two or three pretty important to, you know, well, understanding how three people three in general three work three and not just assuming that you already know everything. Let's say the woman's pregnant and they know very, let's say they know like within a day he's going to be have Down syndrome. Do they? Within day one? They can wince their eyes. So within day two, they can mean? say, Jaff! Jaff! Within day one, they can wince their eyes. What do you mean by that? Two, yeah, every hundred eyes. years, or so Germans yeah, go yeah, on a tour like of the France and the, the rest of Europe en masse. Listen. <laughs> Let's say you're, you're having a kid. You're having a kid. It's not a, you know, more to Chinese, to though. How do you he's know that? Because we have, like, cars filled low, with just Chinese people and, and, you know, all the time. Always need medical bills. It, they they go, bills, like, through trips through the entirety of Europe, well, I guess it's, and they it's, stay, it's like, in a country for a day, and then they just all rush out and go, I don't know, look at all the touristy spots, I guess, and then they drive to the next country. It's insane. There's varying degrees of how bad that can be. I, I said, I said, let's say the, let's say the supposed the baby has a, is on a low cognitive end. But like the worst kind. Is yeah, it selfish like function, knowing your child you know. is going to suffer his whole life just so you can basically have like a glorified cat? I don't, I, I that don't think fuck. it is, but I think like I think I, I honestly, if it's just if it's going to come out as a vegetable, then you know. No, that vegetable it functions, but it's like it can't no, speak at all. Like, it can't well, speak. it's a. Like, it's a I'm surprised plan. Chinese oh, people are fuck. allowed out of it their country. If, if it's like, if it's just pure like negativity <laughs> emitting from it at all times, and you might as well just like, it's really it. like if you if you knew you're gonna have a kid. <laughs> it's like sitting there in your fucking boring soil. Water on him. 
Corey, god damn. No, it, look, it's one of those things where it's like if you drop a piece of Listen, I'm not insensitive. You do it once again. You're going to empty double hockey sticks. I'm, I'm not insensitive. You're I'm an ableist. If you, Jeff, if you knew you were going to have a child that had that had no skin, like it was always screaming. Yeah. And it was always screaming, I have oh, no skin. Oh, it would be in the dumpster immediately. <laughs> you, you can afford it, you can just take, you can take a sharp and a pencil, a sharp pencil. Oh, oh, it, would, oh it would be, oh, I'd get rid of it. I think, so I think fast. there's a gray, I think there's a gray area. If your kid's going to have some sort of disability. That, that's, that completely impairs it for life. It makes it miserable its entire life. I, there's a certain point where it's like, there's a disability and then there's like a liability. That's so deep. <laughs> Corey, thank Corey. You. Hey, it's true. It's true. It actually is true. Like if, Corey, if, if, if you just had a kid <laughs> who had a gimp arm and half his brain didn't work, that's fine. But if you had a kid who's a fucking vegetable and he and he's going scream? to die before he's like yeah. eight oh. years old. Let me pretend to be your kid. <laughs> I'm your other kid. That, oh. that way, hold on, Jeff. I'm the that would touch my heart because he'd be trying to talk to me. He'd be like, son, <laughs> would you like to go to college one day? <laughs> I'd be like, <laughs> I am small like apple to eat. Oh my god. I just god. pour fucking <laughs> magazines over him, all these dirty magazines. I'm like, you, you know, start fucking reading. <laughs> Screaming, he's like, oh, Why do you know listen to these? I was watching the beginning of Batman Returns the other day. I would tell you, I just put him in a like Kids a they make me laugh. <laughs> I just hope penguins raise him and I don't have to deal with him anymore. He's just like, oh. What if he comes back? Oh my god. What if he comes back for you? Back you left me behind. He's like quack like a penguin. He's like pissed off at me. Penguins. And then you're like, penguins still don't quack. It's still stupid. Nothing's changed. You still will learn shit. <laughs> Oh That's fucking God. dumb. Man. You know how to do your taxes? <laughs> no! Can we just clarify that the kind of people we're talking about are people who can't even, like, think? That's what I'm, I'm saying! saying like, so I'm just, yeah, it's like, yeah, I'm not saying... I, I'm saying... They don't you, even they, know their name, they yeah, don't... Yeah, exactly. If they have a disability, that's one thing. But if they're fucking gone, like, they're gone. Yeah. I mean, these parents... That's a gray area. If they're just, like, I, I ruining the parents' someone, lives and their own I am lives. speaking on behalf of someone who cannot be in someone's it, shoes who has to deal uh, with someone who is they're, on they're, the point of By the way, there are plenty of people with Down syndrome that are completely, like, high or medium cognitive ability. Yeah, that, I don't... I don't want to sound, yeah, I don't want to sound cruel. I'm just saying that these parents have kids where we're not like okay. they're missing their the skin, like they can't. They're, yeah. they're, they're this was way blind, too much work. They're missing their tongue. Oh lord, they, they, that's they, sad. They're, 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 they're I still don't know how to draw anything. They to take care of this thing. whole but, painful life. Yeah, yeah, but like I said, and, and I think this also is true. Is you you think of them, and that's good. Like you're not being selfish because that's a really good you part of being of, parenting. Is it not is kind of. It is like a little bit. You're, they you're, you're say letting, they're not, but they are because they they so badly want to take care of something. Almost they yeah. They let or, this or thing maybe suffer also, for years. But it's like I I completely agree with you. I wouldn't want a kid who's like a walking volcano. I would want to like <laughs> take care of him. Volcano. Far too few I would want to take care of him if he was still if he had Down syndrome. <clears throat> That's, you know, that's fine. There's some butts but over here. Was, like, We're talking so far gone. If he, if he There's was one. like a fucking bomb ready to go off, I don't want to deal with that because A, I'm... Fucking or, Times or if magazine there's another one. On my door and be like, and there's hey, some butts. And that's, and that's not to dude? say that's not to people who do end up living. And, uh, it doesn't mean they don't not deserve to live. Penises. It's just like if you could prevent somebody from being in pain. Nobody needs life, a penis. Why, what's penises the are, are why you do that? unnecessary. I, mean, no, I, I, I completely Real agree. Just I just say off. there's a gray area, and I say you. I've said so, my point, but there there was also like that chick who her daughter had like a disability, and she died, and she like mummy encased her. What? She was in like this thing. She was dead, and then she was basically. Info Wars is fucking okay. acceptable. Had, like, now draw more that trial was, like, tits. And she was. Info Wars is and, and just be happy. Wishes. So like, bizarre. Wait, that like, dude is so, so far gone. He's wishes? fucking hilarious. Story territory here. Have you ever story? I didn't step on it. Corey, have you ever seen that, Where's like, that lady, fucking that girl had, thing like, of him? Uh, the baby, like, died, like, pretty much straight away, but she, she had it mummified, and she carried it around with her like a doll. There See, we go. The kind of it's the white dress, too. That's the kind of <laughs> no, okay, I'm that laughing. That is absolutely true. Ooh, that's God. the kind of people... Like, that's Alex Jones. Like, boy, that's the kind of people who you said that to like, you're a horrible person. Just, yeah, Happy Harry cartoons made a fucking hilarious parody. Hold on. Let me show you real quick. Uh, here we go. 
Ah, oh, fuck. To accept the truth and you gotta have the will. To accept the truth and fuck the system and the group collective. Do that. And you'll earn your way to the next level. This is the info war. <laughs> it fits so perfectly into that fucking Sega CD kind of thing. Oh, it's... Ah, uh, perfect match. <laughs> but it looks funny. That's, that's messed up. So let's just say he knows if, things if you knew we a kid don't know. Just gonna have mild autism. <laughs> no. Let's see if it's just gonna be a typical Down syndrome, like that guy Corey from Life Goes On. You remember Alex that? Jones is never mind. Fucking <laughs> so far gone, <laughs> but no, it's kind of that, that hilarious to watch his insanity. <laughs> like Corey, like Corey. <laughs> Corey, fucking does. <laughs> 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 you looked at me with this disappointed look. You're like, what? What do you mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's like I'm hurting your feelings. I didn't mean it like that. No, it's fine. It's fine. One, 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 one. There was a guy named Corey PG. on a show was called it, Life Was it on. played by? I think it was Corey. Who was the guy? Um, <laughs> was it played by Johnny? Johnny DiCaprio, or whatever his name is. No, no, the, the, the character, Leonardo DiCaprio. No, 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 no. That was the teen Gilbert Johnny. grave. He was retarded in that movie. No, this is. <laughs> No, this is a legitimate Down syndrome person. I, I, I wouldn't. I, 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 I don't, don't want that. Sneak. If there was a point where I would like to think that me, me and my wife were on the same sort of idea with what having a kid with Down syndrome. What if? What if the do, what if the do, all right? Theoretically, what if the doctor came to you and he looked at the ultra scan? And he said, "Listen, sir, I don't want to give you bad news, but this child that is coming, the, the doctor is not going to tell you he has Down syndrome. But he's basically going to say, listen, this kid.'" Basically, his whole life he's gonna be on the computer typing out hot memes all day. <laughs> he's gonna be, he's he's gonna gonna be, be sharing. He's, memes gonna, be, he's gonna be sharing the hottest memes all day, and that's all he's ever gonna do his whole life. So this is this for, just for ver just for like clarification. This is the future where they've already like completely mapped out your future life, and he's like he's gonna be a yes. meme spewer on Fortnite. Like, let's see, say this? let's say there's a meme gene, a and you can tell, and he says <laughs> your, your son has your son has this <laughs> gene. And, you guys are both. You guys both like have st stage six level. Wait, Asian wives are yes. white nationalists. See the section of the brain here. He's going to be looking what at his animals about? all day. All, all, the, all <laughs> this section is going to be to, to awkward peg with a droll face. It better Brian. I would be all like, this section of the I would be like, when he's not looking, do you kill your son? <laughs> You told, would you, told would you ask him to snap it in the womb, like twist his head while he's in the womb? I would say, have you played Hitman? <laughs> I would say being conspicuous, okay? I'm paying you good money. <laughs> Me? Just, you're just gonna whisper him, like, listen, just... <laughs> while you're, you Just know. a little... <laughs> yeah, and then yeah, just don't tell, just tell and, and what if, when, when he comes out dead, just act surprised. <laughs> what, if, what, if, what if you said that, and the doctor looked at... <laughs> Just, just make a big O face when the baby when the dead baby comes out. The fucking out. dead baby rolls out. Oh no! What is that? I didn't have anything to do with that. That's weird. I can't believe it's dead. What happened? Oh my god, his head came off. That never happens. But all the woman's oh, like, what was that crack? I I, I just stepped on a peanut. I this know. is horrible. It's cracking my knuckles in there. Yeah. I know it's bad for arthritis, but you know, whatever. Sometimes my fingers get exhausted. Yeah. What happened was you, you creeped up, up the knee's ass and I popped his head off like a doll. That's what happened, lady. You know it's what? your fault. You killed the child. You know. snapped his knee. It warms my heart. We're back to the dead baby. <laughs> Jeff, what would you do, Jeff, if but you this were... But this is Jeff, constant. Yeah. This guy, this if you were with your beautiful wife. This yeah. guy, this... This kid is a mean spewing idiot from the future. He's the worst kind of kid. Yeah, Jeff, right. if you yeah. were your beautiful wife, <laughs> yes. and the doctor, you're, you hear your wife, you're, you're at the emergency room, yeah. and your wife, she, she tweets and she giggles. You're like, that's gross. But then you see her <laughs> baby head come out, and the doctor pulls her side and says, Jeff, your wife just queefed up the baby's ass. <laughs> And it killed your it, it <laughs> And these head people off. look life down on baby. you for this. Life, she's still giggling there laughing. What do you do? Do you like are you angry at your wife? I'd I'd probably be more mad she's probably laughing at a terrible joke than having a dead baby. <laughs> I'd shrug at the dead kid. Jeff, you I'd Jeff, be your like, son's head rolls to the floor, looks up and says, da 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 what do you do? How the fuck is his head still? I would... Because baby's head lives for two more years after it dies. <laughs> Alright, Chris. I would what? kind of slide him into Chris, a dark corner well, with my foot, hoping nobody say, saw and noticed wait, him before he died. Let's say your, your kid comes out, and he's the polar opposite of everything you enjoy. He hates <laughs> everything you enjoy. You're like, man, I love Final Fantasy VII. He's like, 
That was the worst RPG ever made, old man. I grab him by his turkey <laughs> neck and hold him against the wall and Why scream. Why is he a turkey his neck? <laughs> his turkey neck is screaming at his throat. <laughs> Chris, what if you still came there out? There you go. If you if you if you're bored and you're a little shit, you're getting it. You're getting a wallop when you pop you're out of the pussy. Daddy wallop. <laughs> what if your little kid's like, I want to play physics games on YouTube all day? What if he's like, would you beat him to death? What if, what if he walked in and he said, My hero is PewDiePie? What would you do, Corey? I'd be like, Good choice. I'd, I'd be like, like yeah, would you join the bro army. <laughs> I'd be like, I You are one little. Can faggot. we talk about a sound I do, that I, I do. Oh god. <laughs> No, I would, I would wait till he was old enough to go to school. I'd intentionally buy a house on the other side of the street that the school bus has to pull up on, hoping that he has to cross a lane every day and hopefully just, just get hit by a car. Just increase the chances. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All because he likes life. Yes. His That's little, very his intricate. Little, I, have zero, I have no tolerance. You're paying his like, epic braids will be over the road. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not capable of unconditional love. I it's have a, to. Jeff, what if he looks okay. exactly we, like you? Would you like to feel a little bit of empathy for him? I feel like we've created a situation where we can ultimately <laughs> I, hate our kids. I find it more interesting if I'm like looking at a dead body and I'm like, it looks just like me. <laughs> 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 That'd be pretty interesting, actually. Jeez. I've always wondered about that when twins like when a twin dies and he's looking at he's looking at the other twin he's like that's pretty interesting that looks like me but he I'm just, fucking dead yeah, he looks just like yeah I'm this dead this is a dead version of me god damn yeah. what the boy you know oh. <laughs> oh my god. What, what, so what was the question um, yeah what was the question was it advice that is the question was what it advice like we should give people <laughs> what, what, actually, what, <laughs> was it advice we should give people what was the actual oh Holy yeah shit. god damn we got off track we still a couple of 40 Slightly uh, off track there. Holy we shit! We were past that, I think. Yeah, what was it? No, was Chris, Chris jumped Chris, to like you, page Chris, two. You did it. You, you, I forget. Chris, was, was that uh, your question? I'm a sleepy, sleepy sausage. So, anyways, basically, the point is, the best advice is when you see twins kill the one die, the other one looks at them. The end. Yeah. This is from Nikki Bain. Says latest show you've seen that you would consider <laughs> worth a watch. Chris is far of still over here. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, uh, late, late, basically, the latest show that you see that you'd recommend. Yeah. Um, Freaks and Geeks, right, Chris? You like that show. Oh, I, I really, I like Freaks and Geeks. Really? I did, I like Is that Freaks. the one with Seth Rogen? Yeah. Is it, like, where he first started out? Um, yeah, and Jay, was, it's him, Jason Se Siegel, a fucking James Franco. Siegel. Yeah, Siegel. Jason <laughs> Siegel. Um, <laughs> Siegel. A bunch of other guys, but yeah, I like that show a lot. It's cool. What about you? Have you seen a show lately that you'd recommend to people? A show? Yeah, what are those? One, one, one of those, those things. Yeah, one of those things. One of those dang old shows. That's right, my friend. The Eric Gamer. Yeah, the Eric Gamer show. <laughs> Roddy the Skeleton's <laughs> Christmas special. Right? Okay. <laughs> if you guys want top of the line Skylanders reviews on the newest Trap Bot series, iRigamer.com. <laughs> His website's amazing. What the hell? Actually, um, I didn't. I don't. I haven't really watched any TV show in a while. I just watch like stupid shit now and then. I watch a lot of long plays. What are some of the newer TV shows out? True Detective. Everyone's talking about. True Detective was all right. I felt the ending was. A What's that new movie everyone's down. talking about? That's from um the guy from uh, Breaking Bad. Brian Cranston. Aaron Paul. No, the movie. Oh, but what movie? Need for Speed. There's like the TV the show that's coming out, or if, if it is out. I don't know. You're not talking about. What Better is it Paul about? Saul, are you? Mm. Oh yeah, that was it. That's not a movie though. <laughs> well, a show. Because he said show. Yeah, he did say show. He, so he said movies. movie, though. He said show. You didn't. Well, and then, <laughs> so you should understand what I said. I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to watch Better Call. So I, I, when, it, when they first announced it, everybody, like, the people said it was going to be Have you ever show. even decided what, to just, go be uh, as far like? Walking Dead to go away. Yeah. And be replaced by something I've been watching The Walking Dead from pretty much the start. And it's just, it's one of those shows that I don't like. I would never recommend it to anybody, but I still watch it. It's just fascinating. No, wait. It's, wasn't, it's not, it's not. The quote is, has anybody really even right? decided to go as far like anything? I can't remember the rest. It's bizarre. It's so my biggest issue with Walking Dead is I read the comic first, so I'm not trying to pull a hipster card, but I read the comic and I thoroughly enjoy the comic over the actual TV show. And when I saw the first episode, it was in pretty much incredibly faithful to the comic, so I, I had really the high hopes. <clears throat> the first season was somewhat lenient in the comic, but then it pretty much just like, it kind of follows the main motifs, like the stuff where... They, like, go to the jail and set up shop for, like, a while and shit. And, like, just, like, over time you, like, learn the people in jail and how they react. And it's, like, they did that, but <clears throat> the characters in the comic were way fucking better. And the comic was way darker. And it was good. Because, like, before they went to jail, there was a lot of shit that built up from that. And there was a lot of, like, bridges that were burnt. 
And it was just the comic is really fucking good. And <clears throat> I watched the show and I'm like, man, this is Dolsberry. It's fucking. I don't even care. It was horrible. And regardless of even what people think of it being good or bad, I just find it depressing as shit. Yeah. I don't like watching depressing. I mean, it's my weakness. I don't really. I don't Breaking look forward Bad to was kind of depressing, depressing in a way, but but Breaking it wasn't Bad. the same. It had it had it had a place to go though. I think with the Walking Dead is like, oh, these people were just in the apocalypse. Breaking Bad no... has a lot of humor, dark, uh, fun dialogue. Breaking ba- uh, dark, the Walking Dead is just people breaking down and crying. It's like a lo- I feel like nine tenths of the of the audience tunes in just so they can see dead people get stabbed in the head with screwdrivers. But yeah, it's just I'm just I'll, like, I'll, oh I'll my tell God. you, I'll tell you what I think. What I think makes a lot of zombie movies work. It's like at the end they always have some sort of j- vaguely hopeful message, like oh. At least we can rebuild, at least we can survive. But the TV series, they can't really make the world go better, so it's constantly just that's, like, oh, this person got sabotaged that's why and killed. I, I really liked the remake of Dawn of the Dead, because of all the characters. Like, yeah. the first character that you meet at the beginning, he's like an asshole, but then he like turns around, and he's like one of the most likable guys. And yeah. it's like, it's really interesting how like the characters come together in an apocalypse and how they change. That guy was an asshole the whole movie. Yeah, but he was likable. And then like, he... Was he? he like, well... no, I thought he was, there was like a point where... <laughs> There were, he, you I, I liked hate him. Less. I liked him. I, I, he was funny, and then he like. Even at the end of the movie, they're like, "Are you gonna help?" He's like, "Fuck you." No, not that asshole. Not oh. the rich one. Oh, which one? The one that pulled the gun on gun on them and like tricked them, and then they tricked oh, him. Oh, the security guard. Yeah, guy. the security oh. guard. Who yeah, was he, like, he was. Yeah, I he liked was him. Right. The fucking rich guy was a faggot. He's like, "I'm rich, so <laughs> I have nothing <laughs> to worry." How about you make me a water? I yeah. hated that motherfucker. <laughs> God damn it! I, I like that. All right, all right. Like right. everyone else TV is shows. good, and I, I know there's people wincing, listening right now. Not, not, not to. I'm with you, but I know there's people like, oh, well, that, that wasn't as good as the original, the original Dawn of the Dead. <laughs> the fucking original Dawn of the Dead. You know what? I, that part where they like in the beginning, where they like the guy bites into her, and then it's cute, but then like, like biting into styrofoam <laughs> with red dye, and he's like, ah. You know, the, the thing about the Walking Dead <laughs> TV series is, is uh, it. It started off with some really good <clears throat> effects in the first season. Oh, The Walking Dead has an amazing... TV series. Dude, I, I will give them credit where credit is due. The Walking Dead zombies <clears throat> look, like, scary. But I gotta say, but so season one had pretty good effects. Then season two, to my, to my <clears throat> knowledge, from what I've heard from, like, Frank Darabout, Darabout, whatever his name is, yeah. uh, it, apparently they, they, they doubled the episode amount from season one and cut the budget in half from season one. So the zombie, and season three and four didn't have really good effects, but season five has better effects closer to season one. But so, but they've had some really good effects. And they've had some really interesting uh, uh, traditional like makeup stuff done that, that looks really good, frankly. But then they have all this fucking CG blood that looks yeah, really fake sometimes. That's, that's Do you have that stats I, I to back that up with, and, uh, like Another thing that I guess I that came from the Walking Dead was the tel- Telltale series. Like, I know people say it's like, it's, it's really good, like, visual novel. Chris and just played a couple days ago. It's really good, and it's yeah. really, like, you start out and you're like, oh man, is this game really good? And then you really start to enjoy all the characters, and then there's some you like and there's some you hate. And the main guy is so likable after yeah. a while. You know what pisses me off, though, in that game? What's what? that? I don't know. I, I don't know how games are still doing this, but when the camera like changes position in that game, it like freezes for like five like. Like it, it just, <laughs> like you said, uh, it just freezes for like <laughs> fifteen frames. It's like why are you? This is two thousand fourteen. No, I guess it's dude. like how it's loading. Like it's like I loading. Care. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it game. was but true. Thing, it, it looks good, thing, but it's it's I want to know to what extent it is true because I think such saying, things are easily so over exaggerated. Yeah, 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 no, I, I do agree, and I know what you're talking about. It. Like it when you walk into a fucking room and your character's standing there, and then it comes in, and then there's like enemies. You're like, what the fuck? I also wouldn't be surprised if it varies greatly depending on which judge you get and. Yeah, they were no. so, uh, like, what kind of state were, like, you're in? It's really strange. You spend like you spend like three fifths of the game at like at like a soup kitchen or something in 1930. It's what it's, the fuck? What? It's strange. I thought it started off I'll really really walk interesting. Or you spend Doesn't Christopher Lloyd actually voiced off. Yeah, he's no, it's like dying it in that. <laughs> yeah. he's like, you, know what's, you know what's really funny to me? If you watch the original Back to the Future, like it's if you watch it like on an HD screen, you can tell his makeup is like really visible. That yeah. was like four years after One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. He's, he's only like, forty years old yeah. now, but now he looks like actually Doc Brown did in that yeah, movie. Yeah. That was really, but he sounds way. He's like. It's like god damn it. Remember when he used to be in that show with Pamela Anderson? The show. I forget what it was called, but it stunk. Porno? Dark Brown. Yeah. Christopher Lloyd? Pamela Porno? The a new, a new TV <laughs> series I saw that I liked was uh, Rick and Morty. That's a that's a pretty good show. I like that. I like Rick and Morty. It's a good show. 
It's interesting. It's a, uh, it's a tween show, which I, I didn't think I was a fan of tweens, but they do it well because the art's good and the poses are it's really tween? dynamic. Yeah, exactly. Really? Exactly. Well, they have solid in betweens. So. That's what I mean. Like it, they, they do it well. It doesn't feel like it's not like a, like a total drama island kind of tweeny where it's just. I'm gonna get shot up by that, but my point is, it's not like... Dude, Total Trauma <laughs> Island's animation is garbage. But pe people still fucking jerk off to that show. Yeah, well, who cares? It's like stiff and ugly. I've never seen it. I'll say this fucking about... celluloid feet that make no goddamn sense. Rick and Morty, I hate the everybody's eye pupils. I, I did like that at first, <laughs> it's, like, it's so unique, like it's scrambled never been done before. It bugs, I can't stand it. You don't really notice it until they zoom up really face, close to their faces. Uh, I'll now. be honest. And I, the character designs are, they're likable but bad at the same time. It's like another TV show where the character designs are, it's like they're drawn, it's like the style is a draw, it's like the art of like a 15 year old in high school. I just don't, it's really strange to me. It's uh, I actually, I, it's like, like every popular t animated TV show with like a family, it's drawn like a 15 year old. But it's not done mm. in a way where it's like, oh, this is bad. Like they, they do it well. It's simple, but it's, it's, yeah. so well. it's still appealing. Yeah. It does. It doesn't make you go. Ugh. If you've seen Doc and Marty, the original one, it's like that did, burger. I, I prefer those show, character designs called. way more. Bob's have you seen Doc and Marty? It's what, what it's based off. You like of. Bob's Burgers? No, man, I hate Bob's fucking burgers. I've never really? seen it. I just hate the art style. Uh, I don't even know uh, if it's funny. John Benjamin. Uh, <laughs> Chris uh, hates Bob's Burgers. I'm not gonna comment. I, I can't dude, stand his fucking I, voice. If you've actually watched, it's not a. It's I not guess a show. For me, it's kind of hard for me to not. What's his name? John Benjamin. John Benjamin. I like John Benjamin. He was good as Coach Brook. He was good. Yeah, he was good as. At himself, he talks. Home, home How movies? talented of him! Home movies? He's funny. What do you have to say for yourself? Are you John Benjamin? Fuck you. <laughs> Were you in Home Movies? Uh, Fuck you. Uh, I, I always thought Home Movies was a good show because of like. I love Home Movies, here's, dude. Here's fucking like Brian. Like, is, is that like what's the kid's name? Yeah, Brian. Brian. Brendan. 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 This fucking like eight-year-old kid who doesn't play soccer and his coach is talking. He's like. Don't don't waste all your money on beer, Brendan. It's stupid. Go play soccer. And he's like, don't play soccer. They suck. Okay, why are you? <laughs> That's a funny show. I love home movies. It's it's funny because it's like I love he Coach shares. McGurk. Yeah, he shares his life experience with this eight year old. And this eight year old is like so adult for his age. He's like, yeah, I agree. I'm making him. When movie. everyone started picking up that he had a cool voice, then yeah, he started getting overused. And oh yeah, but I, I, I will anymore. admit that they. It's weird hearing. Like I still can't really. I haven't seen Anchor. But like Archer, listen, Archer. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah it, it's weird hearing his voice as like you would think it'd be suave, but I guess that's. I kind can't of stand the fact that he doesn't even try and change his voice for any of his roles. It's just him speaking. I guess because like when they tell him they're like, hey, like Michael Sarah, like Michael Sarah. Yeah, that little Melvin that's true. Nerd. It could just be the producers being like, just do your thing. Yeah, just do, like, do, the do your John Benjamin. He's like, you sure? I, I can do a. But his voice is pretty Allen. platoonic. Like, I'm sure. I'm sure. If I know for a fact. If I got asked to do anything, people would just say, no, do your voice, it's fine, it's fine, it's you're so unique, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. If, if he had like a regular, like, hey, I'm a guy, he'd be like, that's a boring voice, don't do that. I, I do like John Benjamin for his career. Uh, he's really talented. I, I, I like Metal so, when I tuned in, and I really liked home movies growing up. Recent and shows. I do like Bob's Burgers. Better recommend I Fargo. Was, I liked Fargo a lot. Fargo? Yeah, Fargo was the other one I was trying to think of. There was True Detective. Oh my god. Uh, Raid. The Raid. It's so a TV show. Oh, a TV show? Well, fuck that. A movie. A movie I saw. I saw The Raid. Welcome to three years ago. <laughs> I, I know, but I never heard of this. Nobody was like, you need to see The Raid. And then, like... All, all like, Korean revenge movies are good. They're... Oh, dude, like... Is the, that Korean? Wait. No, it's Indonesian. All right. Never mind. My <laughs> apologies. No, it's fine. But anyway, The Korean. first one, it's basically... Kind of think of it in the style of Dread, where they it gets straight to the point. They're in a place. They're locked down. But it's just filled to the fucking brim with just action and kung fu for like an hour and a half of just non-stop fighting with these crazy fucking... And it is gory. And they do not... They're, they're not holding your hand through it. They're like fucking like... <laughs> like ripping fucking people in half and shit with like machetes. It's nuts. Machetes? Yeah, machetes. Okay. And what, Jeff? The second yeah. one mm -hmm. was good. It was... Filled to the brim with action, but the first one was just the second one felt like a fucking anime. Like it felt towards the end, it felt like I was like watching something that'd be on Toonami in the 2009s. <laughs> but the first one felt like it was grounded in reality at some point, like somewhat like old action grindhouse shit. 
Anyways. Snort Pets <clears throat> asks, "Does Linda the fuck still are you hate guys you guys?" Talking Linda about? never fucking. What is what is this shenanigans of Linda? She, she flirts with me. Reference, in she flirts with me. In Do you the pilot for episode one, li- we talked with this lady Linda, who always gave me the fuck, uh, not the fuck me eyes, but she always gave me the, <laughs> the shit eyes, the, the stink eyes, the stink eyes, the fuck me eyes, the stink eyes, the fuck you eyes, the fuck you eyes, exactly. Fuck you. Chris, whenever you leave, she's like, uh, that guy was gross. Do you know no, what she thanks, did to me? Linda. She didn't say gross. You know what? I go up there. Nice. I, when I do see her, I don't. I can't. I'm not gonna see her. But when I do see her, I'm like, she's like, how are you? And I'm like, I'm fine. Yeah, me too. How are you? And, and she's then got I'm a like, cute, You have a good day. She's got a cute little old lady voice. She's like, yeah. Hi. She's very polite. And, and I like when her. I go up there, she's we are like, talking about a, dicks like, and having them hanging free indoors in front of the computer while talking to you. Goes crazy on me every time I see him at four in the morning. Oh yeah, he's like going to a tangent. He's like, man. I heard this he's jazz saying song. he's gay. Hey, this song, yeah, I get that much. I can't now. believe this fucking guy still has a job. No, it's crazy. Like, I swear to God, me and Stamper fucking walked in and we just wanted a goddamn sandwich. And then we were sitting there holding our sandwiches in our hand. He was like, I, he was talking about jazz. He's like, I was his jazz. And he, people were coming through, like buying stuff. And he was <clears> like, <throat> yeah. And he was like looking to give him money and stuff. And he's just like, do you know what song I'm talking about? And Stamper's like, yeah, I think so. And he's like pulling out names. Like, yeah, that's the one. He's like, <laughs> ah, he's like singing it. And I'm just like, <sighs> dude, he won't let you leave. No, he won't. You can't, you can't walk. You have to hear he- his jazz story and you have to mm. talk about. I- okay, the article you linked just shows sandwich. the disparity in how many people get arrested, but that doesn't morning. Uh, like, show a disparity in how many people get convicted for it, which is what you were claiming. here at 3 a.m.? I'm like, what? <laughs> He's like, what the fuck? He's like, what's he doing here? Where, what is his family? Where does his family think he is? What about his kids, man? What about his kids? I'm like, He's 80. His, his kids are like 55. <laughs> what are you talking about? Man. Dude, this went on for like over 10 fucking minutes. You're like, dude. You're like man. Chris Rock. Dude, dude he's so funny. He's pissed. I was like, whatever, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's like trying to like he's, he's really trying to hold on to the fact that they're he's like insinuating the guy is out there like fucking hookers. He's like, you know what he's doing out you know what he's doing out here man at three in the morning. I'm like what? Arrested yes, is bad he's, enough. He's exactly Considering like what the police can, can legally do if they want. Dude, four hours to go to he had sure. white hair, wrinkles. I'm he not dismissing that. He just an old man. Just saying, Look at I'm just saying. This article doesn't prove <laughs> so your watch, actual like, claim. At four in the morning on TV time. <laughs> Before he died, like a horrible like death. Like basically, muck you and the fucking ne- the, the, I went back another night, and he's like, and there was just some teenage girls like buying yogurt or something. He's like, man, you see these girls over there? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, I yeah, I do see them. He's like, you know, they're gonna get picked up in here. Like, you know, there's 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 a. Uh, He's like, and single hookers rec- are recruiting girls in Wawa. He's like, yeah, man, they recruit, they recruit those honeys over there. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, are you serious? So like, I've been coming here, for, I've been coming to this Wawa for fucking years at, for, at three in the morning on a Saturday. I've never seen anything like this. He's like, yeah, man, you gotta watch, you gotta watch out. I'm like, watch out for these hookers, buddy. Yeah, watch out for these hookers recruiting girls in Wawa. If you're gonna be with X, you're gonna recruit just like, you. All right. I just want to say to him, I'm like, why aren't you fired? <laughs> but I, but he's the only one there. He, no, it's all true. these employees rotate, it's, but it's he true. is always there at he, four in the morning. The, so he's we the there, only one I can talk to. When we were there, I don't know if he's lonely, but yeah, he will not let you leave the counter. You, if you're gonna go buy something, you better hope some. Just make sure somebody's like coming up behind you and like ducking. Or in front hide of you. your head, or be like, let's be like. He's like, man, what are you doing? And I got a cold. <laughs> it's exhausting dealing with So him. that answers anyway, the question yeah. about Linda. I don't, yeah. have, I don't have any bad blood with Linda. Let me tell you something. Next question, man. Jeff. Wait, who wants to answer what? When, when you, you leave Wawa, well, when you pay for your, your big fat hoagie or whatever, yeah. when you give her the cash and the little change comes out next to the donation box. Yeah, I don't I don't pay with cash. I just pay with my card. Well, okay, well, that, that you're missing out because if you put the money in the donation box, Linda slips you a little glance at her titty. Yeah, she. Here you go. She shows lip and she's she like, say that. Does she, she lift up her skirt because it's like sitting on the floor? Yeah, she she holds up her titty and slams it on the couch and she's like, have a suck, big boy. She doesn't do that. She's, like, she's more subtle. I don't. I'm afraid to touch her because. 
because she looks like she she has like that old person what tissue you, paper skin. If uh, you touch her, it'll touch like peel her, off. What if you kind of? What if you like tease a little bit? Like what if you roll a quarter up and down on the donation? If you roll a titty up and down on the counter, too. She's, 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 she's like doing this. She's like her titties are like yeah. moving all over she's her like body. She's like skin, Jeff. <laughs> oh my goodness. If you touch her, she's like, what have you done? And she's so crumbling <laughs> from the inside out and die. <laughs> what have you, you done to me? I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm mad because there was a. There was yeah, really she nice, like she died like the Indiana Jones. Indiana Jones, yeah. Where well, he's like fucking melting and, and, and like his face is. She's gonna be dead soon. I'm just gonna be nice to her. Linda's nice to me. I have nothing. She's nice to me too. I only have the nicest stuff. To, if you guys. I zoned out again. What the fuck is going on yeah, again in this podcast? When, whenever, whenever she tries to grab me, I point the light at her. She starts to hiss and goes back into her coffin. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're up to no good, Zach. She <laughs> slithers back in. Did these people vote Trump? She's like sliding around like a. Like no. A, she has a cough in her basement that she What are you talking in. about? So yeah. a piece of a guzzman uh, uh, asks to all the boys uh, with a Z. This guy is uh, crazy. It seems to be like the quote unquote golden age of internet humor and original content is over. With now, uh, in parentheses, aside from the good work you guys are involved with, of course, what do y'all see yourselves doing in 2019? Or 2019. Doing your mom, doing, doing your mom. That's what all we're doing. You no, know, you straight up. 2019 is what full five years. Four, oh God, it's four years away now. But pretty much five years away. Corey, what what will you be doing in the year 2019? In five years, four years. Same thing. Like yeah. Four years from now, nothing's gonna fucking change. I mean, well, you were you were a different place four years ago. I mean, five years ago. It's hard to say. When you I do, didn't know you five years ago. When you deal with future stuff, you look at stuff now. Like what? What would you like to be doing in five years? What I'm doing now is, is working. And, and animating and doing the same fucking thing. What are you gonna be animating? What do you, yeah, what do you, what do you want to have done by them? I know what you're gonna, I know you're gonna be doing. You're gonna be working with me on this game we're working on now, still in five years. You think years. in five years? Uh, no, yeah, we are. But it, I, I think, I think it'll be more fleshed out, and then it'll, it'll be pro. In five years? I think we'll be like patting each other oh on the back. Oh my god! Man. <laughs> Holy shit! The real look of dread just hit Jeff in the face. Jeff, let me tell you something. I've lived here. Three years. Two. 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 Two years. Yeah. And time hasn't flown. If we're not by done, if we're not, all. if we're not done by then, I'm blown. I'm killing myself. Hold on. <laughs> I'm serious. Before you pull the trigger. I'm serious. Before you, Jeff, I I, I joined this <laughs> to keep to keep. We gotta. I I joined this. Yeah. You can talk about so it. So you didn't kill yourself. I appreciate it. <laughs> Jeff, what do you, what do you, Jeff, what do you want Jeff, to be? Jeff or I, I ideally, ideally, I would be like to be done this huge game I'm working on, it'd be a success, and maybe, maybe, just to change things up a bit, maybe I could be pitching like a t an animated show. I'd like to be working on maybe an animated show, perhaps. I, I would... Although I'm, I'm greatly enjoying working on the game, I, but I, you know, once it's done, maybe just do something a little different. I'm the, I'm kind of the same way. I would really like, be like the, the extra cog in the wheel that helps push the thing and everything, and then after that, I would like to see myself actually animating a fucking series or something. Making my own because I have ideas. I've had ideas for fucking ever, but I feel like now at this point it's kind of like I, I'm not gonna waste my time doing like fucking game parodies or shit. I give no shits about unless it's like something I'm legitimately serious about. Like back then when I used to make like stuff like yeah. So Gus, what about you? What do you see yourself doing in four or five years in the far off year of 2019? I want to be producing. Producing what? Good content that I wrote. Oh. What do you? What do you? What? What? What do you want to have uh, have done by then? Um, like, what, what would you like to have, have accomplished in the next couple years? Five I, years? I don't know. Make something. Uh, I, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I, don't, I don't have any plans. Make whatever. Just, just die. Just rolling with it. Yeah. Just rolling with the. I want to make. I, I definitely want to make something longer than twenty minutes at some point, and then after that, I would like. To fucking be the director and have everyone do what I want and fucking not worry about shit. Would you like people to say? I honestly do think I'm I'm nearing the end of fucking enjoying Life? animating long like cartoons. Like I can't do it anymore. It's just it takes too long. And then there's such a little game. All the ones that I, I do finish are always the ones that people are like, oh, I didn't like that one. And then you do something fucking shitty and stupid and it's like that was the funniest thing you ever did it's like great would you like to see an internet debate with people debating whether you or han zimmer are better <laughs> oh my yeah. god uh han zimmer is definitely better but <laughs> that doesn't make his music any more bland yeah yeah I, so I, we all just want to be rich and famous yeah uh, i i just want to be able to I, have, uh, I want to be able to make stuff and not worry about the money that costs to yeah you know what i want I don't wanna... do you know what i want i want to be able to walk into a fucking sandwich store a fucking bar and be like what's that 
Give me the most expensive martini you got. <laughs> no, I'm seriously, my, my, my financially, snappy. financially, my only goal financially is just yeah. to not, just to walk somewhere and be like, I yeah. gotta check my bank account to see if I want to eat food. Exactly. Or I just want to oh, walk. Oh, I can just go yeah, out to eat tonight. Oh. I want to walk. I want to hang Fucking. out with my friends and be like, Oh man, that seafood was so great. Oh, thirty dollars? Don't worry, I got it. Come I would, I, yeah, instead of shaking my hand and like collecting pennies from the quarters, <laughs> yeah, or, like coughing, I, I would be like, hold on, did they fucking s- spill like old man coins everywhere. Well, my goal is slightly, uh, you know, by twenty fifteen. Let's see, that's four years away. Be an old man by then. I bet you guys will be much more well off. I would have then. liked to at least had w- one season of a TV show, at least one. That's all I want, just to get my foot in the door. And, Experience I, that. I want to have one weed. One weed? <laughs> After <laughs> all these years of collecting weed grades, you can, can finally I have, have a, one big Can I have weed. a weed, please? I want to go to the bi- the biggest dealer there is and be like, give me one weed. He'll be like, he'll be like he'll, he'll, his jaw will start quivering, he'll drop his bag. Wanna... Be like, this guy wants one weed, sir. And he's like, what? One weed? He's like, get it for him! <laughs> You can join the weed creed. You should have like a the little series called like Cory Shorts. So it's like Why? you just like film you going to, like a drug dealer. One weed, please. <laughs> they and then they like, the fucking gun gets pointed at my face yeah, and like a, you, like this angle in the fucking frame, and then it's like cut to black. <laughs> can I can I just say something though about yeah. the, about this uh, yeah. question? He put he he wrote the words golden age in quotations, but he still wrote the word golden age. Oh, like and, internet humor was better. Can I just years say ago? Th- this is a common. Uh, uh, Incorrect belief. People say, "Oh, the the golden age of online animation is dead." You guys, if if you really think there was a golden age of online animation, you're too young to be. You were too young or not even born. I mean, the to, animation yeah. sucked. The animation dude. sucked. There were more parodies, not less. That it would, the humor was worse. If anything, all that's happened since like 2005 to eight, people think, "Oh, back in 2009, it was so good." Back in 2010, no. You, you could watch. You were too young you to remember watch, how fucking. You could watch. Sonic versus Mario, and then next you could watch Zelda goes to the drugstore. And that was that was that wasn't, that wasn't a knock on the question. I'm just saying this is no, no. I see this so I see this so often. The only Back difference then, is it was Adam, more... Adam fucking Phillips gave up to do freelance. He's actually storyboarding for Bob's Burgers. That's the only difference I see. Is really? He's, really? Yeah. yeah, he's doing stuff for Bob's Burgers Holy now. Holy shit! Yeah, he's, he's the coolest dude. We love Adam Phillips. This is to you. Adam Phillips, you were a faggot. Adam Phillips. Like what you, did you do the Did you do the Beast in the Woods? Isn't that what it's called? The Bite, Bitey, Bitey. And, uh, Brackenwood. Brackenwood. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's super talented. Oh, really can I, can I tell a short story about Adam uh, Phillips? Yeah. I, I feel bad because like, <laughs> I, I, you called him a dirty Aussie fag boy. I did, but that's not what I'm talking about. I don't even <laughs> know him, <laughs> so I didn't say that. But. I'd like to meet him because I'm curious because like everyone's like, oh, Adam Phillips is amazing. He's so he cool. Is. He's so funny. But it's like, I don't know who the fuck he is. And then I see him he's and I'm well. like, who is this? Who is this cat? Look up Adam Phillips on Google. You'll see some of his work. We, he's really talented. Tom and I, Tom and myself and Stamper were making a game in 2006 based on... Um, oh, yeah, I know what you're going to say. Do you, know, do you know what his name is? I forget his name was, now. Um, I feel bad. Kevin, Kevin... Before I say something... He's Britney Spears' just, boyfriend, right? I just... I want to say that. line. Tom Kevin Federline. Kevin Federline, yeah. Tom, myself, and Zabra were making a game based on cover Kevin Federline where you, you beat up Britney Spears. It's really weird. You can juggle her baby and stuff with, with punches, but... Wow. We, we did all the art and the... We did everything with the game, and then we said... At the time, Adam Phillips was, like, huge. Like, he... he he had, like, the best animation on the fucking internet. And we yeah. said, well, we'd like him to be part of this game. So we're like, cool. <laughs> what can we have him do? Because, like, the whole game was almost done. And uh, we didn't want to take up all, all his time. So we did have know, blood effects. Well, that was close. We, there, at the end of the game, Adam Phillips yeah. starts pissing. You, <laughs> you can piss on, like, Britney. <laughs> and we said, what if we got Adam to make... To animate the piss. <laughs> That's like so he, he, he basically animated one piss droplet... <laughs> and gave it back to us. And Tom, Tom coded it so the piss would go all over the fucking screen. But he animated it. It's like the credits are like Stamper, Johnny Utah, Tom Fulp, and it's like in special thanks to Adam Phillips for the piss drop. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Anyway. But I, I just wanted to dispel the, the rumor that I hear Honestly, a lot from, from younger guys who are like 13 to 15 to maybe 17 who say there was a golden yeah. age and now all, now it's all dead. It, no, you're too young to remember there, how it was it was worse back then. There will always be good humor. There will always be bad. Yes. Like, there's a lot of obnoxious, shitty, corny humor today, but it's, it was. It I, would, I would say the I, I only feel difference like things between... change. Things change with age. Like stuff 
different things that you didn't find funny before become funnier the older you get. And I would even say, go back and watch the stuff, the, the stuff the stuff that you think is golden. Go back and watch it. It's not that good. Like, the, the people who... I mean, it's still good for what it was, but if you go back and watch the stuff now that you think is the golden age, it's it's honestly... It's whatever. The, the only difference between now and then, there's exact same amount of parodies. I would say more parodies today. The only difference is today that people are better at animating. Do you know what I feel like more or less this falls into? What's that? I feel like a lot of people let nostalgia clog their vision. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's just like, nostalgia. They, I was were, they remember the good times. Way better. Yeah. yeah. They remember the good times. Where, and that's another thing too. Like you see these animators, you see animations from like, and then you see fucking animators now, and they're like, like, cause the bar is like set, and they're like, I gotta be like these motherfuckers. Corey, so they're like, Legendary doing, Frog was the golden age. Yeah. He was. He really. No, like he really that, was. And then you look at this stuff now, and it's just like it's insane. I dude. used to think. Uh, 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 Return of Ganondorf was the funniest thing ever. Then I watched it like recently. I was like, holy fuck. That's not like a hit or anything, but no, I was just like, it's Jesus like, Christ. I used to think this was hilarious. It's like, have you ever wanted to play a PlayStation 2 game that you've been craving? You're like, I mean, man, I want to play that game. And you play it, and you're just like, this game's fucking I, I knew, I knew the guy who did those Napster Bad cartoons. They were like on the forefront of like new internet animation with What's Flash. What's Napster? Napster Bad. You don't What's know what Napster is? Napster? No. Napster? Who's Napster? You nobody's Nap heard of Napster. I know what Napster was. Napster's? Napster was that big mobile phone company yeah. that sold fucking ringtones. Is that what you're talking about? Are you guys fucking with me? <laughs> the Napster ad company. Napster, that you steal like... It, I mean, oh. this show in my fucking age. Was it, I don't was know. it Napster, Holy the shit. music website? That, yeah, it was, like, it was, legally, it was right? like the first like torrenting... Like, yeah, oh. the music oh. stuff, Not right? torrent. Yeah, it's like you share music. I'm no, I'm pretty sure Lime Napster wire. also did that, that was mobile phone shit. For us, that yeah. was LimeWire. I do remember Napster. Napster was before Lime. Oh. Napster was the first. Napster was like 2000, 1989. Okay, and there was like a cat head the, logo. Yeah. I remember. I Lime, Lime was remember. like LimeWire was like 2005, 2004. Napster had those ads on TV where it's like send a, or send a text message to blah blah blah, and we'll send you these wallpapers and ringtones. Basic, yeah, they changed into that. Basic, uh, yeah, just to get not to get off topic. Though. There was Napster, there was a big controversy, N Metallica was pissed off because their music was being shared a lot of on Napster. A lot of yeah. hated so, a guy who actually became like my boss for a while, he animated this series called Napster Bad, where James Hetfield and Lars Ulrich were cartoon characters, and James Hetfield would be like, Napster Bad, and he like swing his <laughs> arm across the screen, but... They were popular on the internet really? for a while. Yeah, they were like the first, some of the first Flash cartoons. Because it was controversial. Because it was like, it was topical. They were actually, not, he animated, you know, they, it was very uh, crude. The animation was crude, but it was very lively and they were very popular at the time. That's cool. In like 2001 or something. And and see, that's a, that's a, this kind of falls into like the, the question. It's not on the paper, but it's kind of like the same vein. It's like the... So I'm, I'm going to be treading on water, and this is the only time I will ever talk about this. But okay. the topic of Chris Chan. <laughs> okay. Because Chris Chan, as gay as it is to say, was a big part of my life back in fucking 2007. Because uh -huh. I made the animated series, and that's how... I mean, you guys... That like, is people, how you pretty much got your yeah, story. Yeah, and I didn't even fucking know anyone. I just wanted to... I thought this guy was fucking hilarious, and I thought he was a joke, like a troll. And then I found out later he wasn't, and it, it like... I was fascinated. It, it it sparked my curiosity he, for that kind of stuff. He's definitely like the only weird autistic person I would call he, almost brilliant. Yeah, in he's exactly, brilliant. exactly. He made like it's a, a series. Genius. He made he a is. series. <laughs> he he based his entire life and he created like crayon copyrights, <laughs> like fucking like Crayola crayons, like a five year old would draw. And there are twelve year olds who have better art styles and art talent than him. And he fucking like made. A series with Pokemon and Sonic. Sorry, but one of the most autistic franchises out there. And he put them together, and he and he made Sonic you. And I'm just like, oh my god, this is amazing. And I I I suckered in, and I was into the whole trolling thing. And for four years of my fucking life, I used MS Paint. I animated crudely, like Ren and Stimpy style <clears throat> drawings, overly grotesque fucking Chris Chan stuff that. I eventually made like a big part of my life because that's how I started getting like attention and shit. And then it just became sadder the more Chris Chan went on. Like he became a tranny and then his dad died and then everyone's like, his? you should you should make fun of Chris Chan. It's like, dude, his fucking family's dead. His house, his house burned, burned down. down. And he, he's trying to make money on eBay and yeah. people are still trolling him and fucking with him. I know he's a despicable person because he's like racist and... <laughs> Stupid and ignorant and horrible. His life adventures were amazing. Yes, for a while. they were. He he was just like he, it was incredible. It, it, if Chris Bors 
had a had a build up like that, I'm sure Chris Boards would be the legacy he <laughs> he could have been. It's uh, look look at Chris Chan's life is like looking at Walter White's life. He starts it off is. like somebody completely. I don't even know who Walter White is, but I know that he like completely changed because he starts off being like, "No homos, I ain't no gay," and then he could be he's like putting his hair up. He's like, "This is how you apply lipstick." I'm saying if you watch the last, <laughs> I'm saying if you watch the last episode, if you watch the first episode, it's a completely yeah, different show. And there's like chronologically oh, oh, ordered. Chan. There's like there's an archive because let me tell you something. If you if you thought Chris Chan was like autistic there are people who have archived him eating breathing and shitting and it's on his well, there's, website there's a video of him as a little kid winning some contest yeah right? yeah yeah that's actually like because he won a sonic contest ages ago and that's but what sparked his like fandom thing his, his ranting on like not liking black girls because they're uh, yeah, black yeah. and no, his there's he's... like some audio of him trying to Talk a GameStop manager. Yes, yes. There's, there's so he, much ignorance. He just got kicked out. He's trying to get back into the store. <laughs> I never laughed harder. No, no. I'm that, telling dude. you. Like, he Christian, they go to call with his mom. Chris, yeah, yeah. Like Christian is, he's an, he's an enigma. Which to f so many people, they thought he was a troll because they're like, there's no way this motherfucker is real because it's like he's the most saddest human being ever, and it's <laughs> sad because it's like. I, I spent four years of my life fucking with him and like people are like bring it back and I'm like no <laughs> let it die it's like it's depressing yeah. it's not the golden age it's I, the depressing age and happy Harry Harry Partridge he's a, he he loves Christian too yeah yes. he told me and I think uh, to, I don't know if this is like I don't know if this is well known I don't think he'd care if we shared it but he, I think he contacted Chris Chan once uh, yeah I think he said that mentioned he mentioned he's like, he's like I'd, I'd like to make a game with you yeah <laughs> And Chris Chan actually turned Harry down. Like he Harry's one of the best fucking animators no, on the internet. No, he did. He <laughs> Chris Chan is like, well, you're not, you're not, you don't have like a Disney style. You're not good enough. No, you're I'm not good you, enough. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> that's the thing about Chris Chan. He's super conceited. He's super full of himself. And it's funny too because like he he makes videos where he's like, hey y'all. He's like having like a presentation with, with fucking PowerPoint and like baby tools and like his Hasbro like fucking keyboard. <laughs> and he's like. Present because he's very professionally presents stuff, and he's like, "Yeah, it's a picture, it's a fan made. It's like really fucking well done." And he's like, "Yeah, uh, she she ruined the tail, it ruined the picture, so I made a new one." <laughs> and then he made it, but he's like, "But I appreciate fan stuff." But he will never accept the fact that someone is a better artist than him. He will always say he's a better artist. So he he has to be the lead animator, the lead writer, the lead director, the lead voice actor. And you can just be a fan. That's what he would do. I just have all these memories of him, like he, him running around a park with a female like sports bra. Yeah, and, it, yeah, it's it's fascinating. So, didn't somebody dress him up normal and pretend? They said, "Listen, just act. Here, we're gonna put some fake tattoos on you, and we're gonna put you. Just sound like, just act like this whole time your entire life has been like a, a but trolling. That, that backfired and on it him. Almost, because, it almost was convincing. But it, yeah, but it backfired on him because they, because like this other fucking Chris Chan came in and said like that's just Ian Brandon Anderson because his name on the fucking <laughs> yeah, he's an imposter was I am Chandler, and he's like that. That is my. That is a troll name. My name is Chris. Like he, he's so. He, it's funny because he's literally convinced people are telling the truth and not fucking with him. Someone would go up to him and be like, Chris Chan, I just sold fucking forty paper medallions online. I'm making millions of dollars, and he'd come online and be like, Goddamn trolls are selling my merchandise. He gives out his personal information. He's like, This yes. is my phone number, but don't call me. Yes, he literally. <laughs> he's a retard. Like, he said it himself, so I can say that. And it's it's sad because like now it's like people link me stuff still because you know there's those diehard and it's like man don't f I don't I don't care it's depressing I don't care it's funny to see that he's still freaking out about Sonic and shit and still like complaining. Oh, and it's I got just my like, laughs. I got my laughs. Yeah, out of it's it. like it's over. This one comes from Mr. Dad. If you could work on any cartoon TV show, past or present, what would you choose and why? So if you could work on any TV, any cartoon or TV none, show, none of them. Really, you would work on any TV show if you had the chance to just to be a part of the production? No. Work really? on any TV show? I just want to make my own stuff. I don't yeah. really care. I don't really, I don't feel really like... want to be a part of. I mean, I'd work on a Hellbender. Oh, show. Well, here we go. Oh. I, I want to work on The Simpsons. So I, I was gonna say it'd be a horrible joke and then quit. It'd be interesting to, to, to work to, to just be there until you are the writers of The Simpsons, just to see how they think of stuff. Yeah. A show like that. 
I don't I'd, know. Like, I'd like to sit on an episode. I think you show like Kirby Enthusiasm. Would be I would really like to do. sit on an episode of South Park and see how shit goes South on. South Park would be fun too. I could totally do like storyboards for South Park, if, if, but that's kind of like, that's arrogant as fuck. Like, hey, if, I well, this, this, is six, assuming, this is assuming you can work at any show. So you could be a writer or an animator or whatever. I would like to work at South Park for. It'd be interesting to be like one of the writers who sits in the room, yeah. like Bill Hader, just to sit in there and be like, how do they, you know, yeah. brainstorm stuff? I'd do that. I, yeah. I wouldn't I would want to animate Because then they would say though. stuff, and then you could, like, no. chime in and be like, well, what if, like, this? this happened, yeah. yeah. And then you could be as vulgar as you want, because yeah. they would be fucking, like, and then her, her pussy falls off. Just to, just to go on a small, just a small <laughs> tangent about South Park, what do you think of these people who've been animating on South Park for years... They're very, you, they're very dedicated. Like, they're, 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 do you think they could get a job somewhere else? They could. In that style? They could, but they, they like appreciate Matt and Trey, and they appreciate how South Park has come out. Because I'm just speaking, a lot ta- of, a lot of, a lot of the artists. If you look at their portfolios, they're very talented. So that's actually a downgrade yeah. for them. If I can say that, a downgrade. Yeah, like yeah, they're not getting better at what they're doing. Like I'm sure they're decent animators. They yeah. probably showed them a cool portfolio. I think no, it's but more like, or less like, they want to be like, I work on South Park. One of if you look at some of the episodes where they have like a comic book style or like the episode with the boobs, they maybe like the when it's like the heavy metal style. Like when they when they want to go out, the animators like sometimes they give the animators free reign. They say do whatever the fuck you want, yeah. and it looks really good. Yeah, and like the storyboard artists are all really good too. Like they have a really unique cartoony style, and then you see like these fucking like stiff like cardboard cutouts, but you see like they're like very cartoony like dynamically animated like yeah. angles and stuff but then it's just like these even like, even the like, caricatures really... of a celebrities always look really spot on yeah they're, they're always really good at that i i do think i i think it's one of those things where it's like yeah i work on south park it's like one of the most beloved shows that everyone like you either hate or enjoy the, but most people enjoy the only criticism i have of the art mm-hmm. there's somebody on that staff that is a huge fan of Street Fighter, and they trace a lot of Street Fighter art. Really? You, only, yes. Only, only really? a Street Fighter, yes. Melvin, what episodes? Dweeb, Nerd, the one, the from episode, Planet Idiot, just le- n- Fart a Charm. <laughs> the, ep- the episode, you know the episode where they turn into anime characters? Oh, yeah. Oh, good, yeah. Good so many fucking trees, like all this Street Fighter alpha art. <laughs> really? Like, yes. They didn't want to do the extra. Yes, I recognize it. They I'm didn't like, want to do the extra work. And not only that, and then, then like the three-part episode where they did... The uh, like all the villains or whatever, whatever that was called. Somebody like traced Akuma and stuck them in the back. It was like a tracing <laughs> of Akuma. <laughs> Wait, which where all the villains come back? Is it uh, episode two hundred? It, it where was. All the... It was like a three part thing where it was like they were dealing with all these villains. It was like all these villains. Was it like where Carbon was like a raccoon? And they're dealing. It was Michael. There was. It was like the joke with Michael Bay. Michael Bay was in it too. Oh, Imagination Land. Yes, that. That was oh. it. Yeah, yeah. But there was a shot. Was like some dude on that staff is tracing Street Fighter art. Well, it was, it was supposed to, to be fair. It was supposed to be like, <laughs> it was supposed to be little kids' imaginations or imagination yeah, in so general. I'm so a, if somebody was thinking it's a of small a criticism, a but and I'm sure but they yeah, have. Yeah. No, I didn't even know that. I'm sure they have I no fucking. That. That's a good I'm eye. I'm gonna find it. I'm Jeff. just because I because I Jeff. study Capcom art. Are I recognize sure? it. Like you don't have a very minute form of autism. <laughs> I, people, have acu- my friends in college actually accuse me of that. You're like you're like watching a show. You're like, did you see that Akuma in the background? I don't. I don't like admit it. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's, that's that's what we call the animator eye, though. It's like, did you see no, that I'm joking. small I'm fucking joking. pixel in the Jeff, I'm joking. But like after you do like frame by frame stuff and, and you do like a lot of like stuff, you look at the other stuff. And there's you- a there's a character from Street Fighter Alpha called Sodom, and he has like this armored yeah. outfit. Go go look at his design. Go look at his art, and then go watch that episode of South Park. Yeah. The anime episode and you'll be like holy shit they traced them dude i'm telling you right now i was watching the show and i swear to god i was catching like light flickers in fucking like 3d animation and like if a character like moved his hand and his hand was here like a mm-hmm. second later I was, oh i notice and it, Chris, it's i noticed cra- everything it's crazy that like you're so used to working on stuff and you're so used to like animating and catching like frames that are off a little bit and you have to go back and fix it that yep. you start to catch Chris and i were shit, watching like, something like and the i did fucking that rain man you're, i was like, watching you're, like move you like Frame 1034, there was a misplacement. I was watching Family Guy uh, years ago, and I saw uh, the, the one, it's one of the early episodes from season one where Death comes in. It's Norm Macdonald. And you know, the, you know the thing you do where like a character's part of their body goes off the stage? Yeah. So you take like a line to what you draw like under. I saw, it's, uh, we're going to have to post a picture because it's so hard to describe if you're not an animator, but basically, when, there, there's a stage in Flash, and there's a gray area outside the white stage. And the gray area, nobody can see except for the animator. And that just means stuff can come in and go off the stage. But anyways, in the actual animation, there was, like, lines drawn, but they entered the stage by accident. So it was, like, where the character's legs would come up would start to come up at the bottom of the screen. What the fuck? Yeah, I posted a video. I'll, I'll post it in the description of this video. Dude, I'm the, telling the you, podcast. I catch that stuff now. Yeah, exactly. Like that was, like, a one-tenth of a second. I saw it. I fucking saw it. And stuff like, you ever notice in old, like, like for example, like a movie Akira... 
There are frames where the, the, the people mispainted something Akira? on one frame. Yes. Dude, old and, I, and old, it bugs me. It flashes like like something's the wrong color or they old didn't. Old 80s mm. anime do that a lot. Yeah, they fuck up a like, lot. Like they're like doing they're doing like a very like detailed thing and there's a movement, mm -hmm. but the background's fucking disappeared and it's just like like where an area of ground would be and like half the picture's missing. And you're like, wait, what the fuck? Because it's like it's all like hand painted, isn't it? Like yeah, it's like all the cell. Shit. Yeah, the cells get. Yeah, somebody messes up little so, things. So after every doing, I, like, I think what it is, I think either the paint stood or that or something. Yeah, that's like a red becomes like a slightly lighter red. It's like, hey, what the yeah. I, I fucking saw that. Or like their hair isn't colored, or their hair isn't shaded on one frame. Yeah. Or or it's like a skin color or something by accident. Yeah, like they're just right. It. It's like four in the morning Fuck. and they're just like they There's just like, forget uh, to yeah. do something. Yeah. I, I think uh. I think that yeah, like it, I guarantee if you went frame by frame for one of my animations or something. Even on what, like, if you went frame by frame for the Street Fighter thing, yeah, holy fucking shit, would you see so much mistakes? Because I am not a cleanup man. Yes, I, I am. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I. Am. All right. Sorry, I'm gonna have it. No, the last, fine. the last question of the night. This comes from Panda Mark. Favorite game of all time. Chris, what is your favorite video <laughs> game of all time? Final Fantasy Seven. Jeff, what is your favorite video game of all time? Street Fighter Three. Corey, what is your favorite video game of all time? Oh man, I hate favorite stuff. Uh, hurry, Corey, hurry! There's a gun to your head. Gun to my head. Yeah, put a gun to his head. Oh, answer! Oh, no, 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 <laughs> What's that? Uh, my favorite Five game of all Freddy's. time is not Five Nights at Said Freddy's. It's pretty good to the game. There, it's it's a tie. Oh, Legend of Dragon. Donkey Kong Country for the Super Nintendo. Twice. Donkey Kong Country, twice. Fuck two and three. They're good, but I like one the best. Donkey Kong Country, Quanko, Quan Uno. I guess we're going to close out. I'm Corey Spazkin. I'm Johnny Utah. Hello. Uh, good and good night. Uh, I'm Zach. That's what they call me. That's what they call me. Chris, <laughs> Chris what's your name? Sleepy Boy. Sleepy. 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 Ah! See you way more like that. All right. That's it. That's a wrap. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Just some time too. Nice. I'm gonna finish up the strong and then we're gonna do a movie night. Awful. Just awful. Yeah, and right. Ah, uh, fuck. Just gonna. Nah. Nah. Fuck. Uh. Up. Yeah, I'm not gonna save this one. And it's gone. A shame. Yeah, it's a shame I suck so much. I know. I say that every day. All right, enough of this.